Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Infinite Simulation, From Konoha to Moon. Chapter 1, Life Infinite Simulator Loading, Loading Complete. Our motto is to create miracles with heart, and to find happiness even without money. Current World, Hokage Ninja. Related Event, Night of Clan Annihilation. Simulation Begins, Age 0, You Were Born Into the Uchiha Clan in Konoha Village. Your father named you Uchiha Changsheng, hoping that you would live longer in the cruel ninja world. Age 1, you died in the night of clan annihilation planned by Uchiha Obito and Uchiha Itachi. This simulation ends. Evaluation. Painful. Too painful. Death often brings real harm. I wish you more endurance in the next attempt. Reward. 2 simulation coins current balance. 2 beat 1 random talent 99% chance of obtaining trash. Li Shang woke up. His memory was still stuck in the last moment. Uchiha Itachi, with an expressionless face, stood on a telephone pole. Fortunately, the simulator had protective measures and wouldn't cause mental trauma to the user due to the experiences in the simulation. Li Shang regained his composure and looked at the rewards given. The simulation coins were like tickets, allowing one simulation per coin. But the talent reward was the most important because talents could not only be brought into the next simulation, but also be attached to the user in reality. It could be considered Li Zhang's cheat. This system was quite reliable. The drop rate was clearly written, with a 99% chance of obtaining trash. But that was normal. The simulator's evaluation criteria were based on the changes you made in that world. He was only one year old. Has it started? No, it has already ended. Li Shang chose to claim the reward. A line of text immediately appeared on the translucent holographic screen in front of him. Theatrical General E rank before entering the simulated world, you can make a flag positive wish with a 1% chance of it coming true. As expected, Li Shang wasn't surprised at all. According to the simulator, talents were divided into six ranks E, D, C, B, A, and X. There was no doubt that an E-rank talent was a trash talent. But he wasn't discouraged. This was only his first time. Li Shang was a reborn individual. In his previous life, when he was playing the Life Restart Simulator, he closed his eyes and opened them again, returning to the year 2003. This world was very similar to his previous life. Very ordinary. There were no wealthy people who declared themselves as Iron Man at press conferences, no guys flying around with their underwear on the outside, and no bald magicians like Avada eating watermelons. As an ordinary man just like G.U. Tianel, he didn't have a photographic memory, a divine voice, or extraordinary luck, he didn't have any of that. So he had nothing to do with plagiarism, lottery tickets, actors, or singers. Originally, he planned to study hard and go to college, but the arrival of the simulator changed his plans. It's another peaceful day. Li Shang picked up his backpack and opened his MP3 player. Jay Chow's new song played through his earphones. We all have sins, committing different crimes, I can decide who is right. These years were the peak of Jay Chow's popularity. At this time, smartphones hadn't become popular yet, and the MP3 player became one of the most popular electronic products among students. In his previous life, he liked to use it to read novels. Li Shang arrived at school on time. On the blackboard, it said, 100 days until the college entrance examination. He sat in his seat at the back by the window and took out his Chinese textbook. After evening self-study, he left school and returned to the rented house he lived in. Life Infinite Simulator Loading Loading Complete Our motto is to create miracles with heart, and to find happiness even without money. Current World Hokage Ninja Related Event Night of Clan Annihilation this will consume one simulation coin. Please bring your talents, up to five. Li Shang used the talent of theatrical general, hoping for at least a 1% chance. Activate Mangekio Sharingan. According to the plot of Hokage Ninja, unless one possessed the Mangekio Sharingan, it was almost certain death during and after the night of clan annihilation. Simulation begins. Age zero, you were born into the Uchiha clan in Konoha village. Your mother named you Uchiha Fugi. Five years old, you visited your good friend Inazuka Hana's ninja dog base and unfortunately got bitten, dying from a special strain of rabies. This simulation ends. Evaluation. You and dogs are not compatible, it is recommended to raise cats. 
Reward. 2 simulation coins current balance. 3B1 random talent, 99% chance of getting garbage. Li Shang opened his eyes. He never dreamed that he would die from a dog bite. So infuriating. Silver tongue, E level, you are skilled in sweet talking, a grandmaster of human nature. With just three sentences, you can make people believe and double the effect on villains. Although he always felt that this talent was a bit self deprecating, Li Shang thought it was quite good. Having potential beyond the E level. There is a saying, words are the most hurtful weapon. Let's try again. Li Shang was at an age where he couldn't sleep, and this simulator was particularly fun, with talented people and pleasant conversations. Equipped with the two talents he drew, he started his third simulation. The theater general still didn't trigger. Simulation begins. Zero years old, you were born into the Uchiha clan in Konoha, and your father named you Uchiha Shan. Five years old, during the Nine Tails attack, you came home too late and were sat on by the Nine Tails, dying. This simulation ends. Evaluation. So you're just a smelly hero, disrespectful, disrespectful. Reward. Two simulation coins current balance. 4B, one random talent, 99% chance of getting garbage. What the hell? Li Shang choked on his words. Who created this simulator? The level of sarcasm is top notch. Eidetic memory, E level, you have a super strong memory, able to remember things after seeing them once. This talent is not bad. At least Li Shang doesn't have to worry about the college entrance exam anymore. I don't believe it. Let's try again. Li Shang started the simulator again. Simulation begins. Zero years old, you were born into the Uchiha clan in Konoha, and your father named you Uchiha Fang. Seven years old, you died on the night of the Uchiha massacre planned by Uchiha Obito and Uchiha Itachi. This simulation ends. Evaluation. Cherish life, stay away from the Uchiha. Reward. Two simulation coins current balance. 5B, one random talent, 99% chance of getting garbage. Li Shang woke up with a speechless expression. It can't be said that it's exactly the same as the first time, but it's completely identical. It's him again, him again. Uchiha Itachi. Memory retention, E level, in the simulated world, you will retain memories from the main world. Did he hit the jackpot? Li Shang couldn't help but smile. He didn't know how the simulator determined talent levels. Perhaps for other users, memory retention might not be useful. But he is a reincarnator, aware of the plot in the simulated world. In other words, this thing should be called future foresight. Although it's only E level, even if he could exchange it for an EX level talent, Li Shang wouldn't do it. Very well, with this talent, even Uchiha Itachi, I have the confidence to play with him. Li Shang let out a breath and prepared to go to school. Outside the window, the sky was faintly showing the morning light. The MP3 played a beautiful Chinese melody. Who is playing the pipa? Playing, Dong Feng Po, the years peel off on the wall, seeing my childhood. He arrived at school. A peaceful day passed in review. Back at home, Li Shang opened the simulator. With all four talents equipped, he still wished to unlock the Mangekyo Sharingan as soon as possible. To obtain the highest evaluation from the events of the Uchiha Massacre night would undoubtedly be a hellish start. But even if he failed, it didn't matter, he could just start over. Simulation begins. Zero years old, you were born into the Uchiha clan in Konoha, both parents deceased, named Uchiha Lang. Six years old, you entered the Ninja Academy and, with your photographic memory and knowledge from your previous life, became a genius second only to Uchiha Itachi. Uchiha Fugaku valued you and took you as his disciple. Ten years old, you graduated early and became a genin. Spring has arrived, and all things are rejuvenating. It is the season for animals to reproduce, and the air is filled with the scent of rhododendron flowers. The ninja school in Konoha village is also entering its busiest two months. Graduating students leave, and new students enroll. Uchiha Lang, or Li Shang as he is called, is one of the graduates. He is 10 years old this year, and among his peers, besides Uchiha Itachi, he doesn't have much fame. Li Shang carries the memories of his past life and has an exceptional talent for photographic memory. He performs excellently in school. The only thing he is not satisfied with is his chakra. He hasn't taken any rash actions in the past few years.
One reason is that he is too young, and the other reason is that he doesn't have the power to make decisions. But fortunately, his strength has been improving, and his relationship with Uchiha Shisui and Uchiha Itachi is still acceptable. Now, only three years remain until the night of the Uchiha clan's annihilation. Li Shang knows that it is time to implement his own plan. The plan is called, How Can I Save You, My Uchiha? Congratulations on graduating, Lang. Li Shang heard a voice and turned to look at the person. A rare bun-shaped nose, wearing a dark high-necked short-sleeved shirt and triangular guards, carrying a small dagger on his back. Uchiha Shisui. He is a genius of the Uchiha clan who gained the name, Shisui of the Body Flicker, during the Third Great Ninja War. He is three years older than Li Shang and Uchiha Itachi. Although people in the clan believe that Uchiha Itachi can catch up to him, currently, there is still a considerable gap between the two. Shisui, why are you here? Li Shang has a good impression of Shisui. Although he is limited by his own circumstances and brainwashed by the will of fire, he doesn't go as far as Uchiha Itachi in killing his own clan members. He has an outgoing and gentle personality and has guided him in ninjutsu and physical techniques multiple times. I heard that you graduated today, Lang. I happened to have some free time, so I came to take a look. Shisui's smile seemed a bit forced. He had just had an argument with someone at the clan meeting. Feeling depressed, he walked near the ninja school. I see. Li Shang knew that he was not being completely sincere. According to the original plot, the Uchiha clan's rebellion was postponed for two years due to Shisui's suicide. In other words, during this time, the clan was already in chaos. The two factions advocating for a coup and opposing it were on the verge of war. Next year, Shisui, knowing that he couldn't stop it, would meet with third Hokage Serutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo, revealing his Mangekio Sharingan abilities. However, he was ambushed by Shimura Danzo and had one of his eyes taken away. But even in this situation, he still didn't want to see his clan and village go to war. In despair, he chose to commit suicide. Li Shang could only think of one word. Blind loyalty, or perhaps naivety, a lack of adaptability. Let's take a walk. After the graduation ceremony was over, Li Shang extended an invitation. Shisui naturally didn't refuse. He and Uchiha Itachi were close friends. And Uchiha Lang was Uchiha Fugaku's disciple. Li Shang bought two skewers of tricolored dango and handed one to Shisui. Thank you. Shisui took a bite of a dango and said, the taste is still authentic. If Itachi were here, he would definitely like it. Li Shang didn't respond. He chewed on the tricolored dango but missed the delicious food from the Nara clan. He didn't particularly like this sweet thing. Because he firmly belonged to the salty faction. I've learned a lot at school these years. Li Shang organized his thoughts and spoke, especially in theory. Oh, Shisui became interested because the main content of the school's theoretical class was about the will of fire. And this sentence made him feel somewhat familiar. Uchiha Itachi had also thought about it this way. In Shisui's impression, Uchiha Lang was a talented young man. Although he couldn't compare to Uchiha Itachi, he was still outstanding among his peers. He was always smiling, kind-hearted, and had no worries. And Uchiha Itachi had been able to think from the perspective of a Hokage since he was seven years old, so Shisui admired him and taught him a lot about the will of fire. If Uchiha Lang also had this tendency, he would be happy to have another companion. But the more I learn, the more confused I become. Li Shang stopped and asked seriously, Shisui, what do you think the will of fire is? In Shisui's opinion, this question was no less than asking, Brother, are you passing on the fire? He was very happy. In the Uchiha clan, there were very few people who could think like this. The answer to this question cannot be explained in a few words. Shisui thought of the third Hokage Serutobi Hiruzen and smiled, if I were to describe it in one sentence, it would be where the leaves dance, the fire continues to burn. The fire will continue to illuminate the village and make new leaves sprout. I kind of understand, but not completely. You can answer like this, which shows that you have indeed thought about it seriously. Shisui patted his shoulder and said, it's not convenient on the street. If you have the determination to understand the will of fire, come to my house. My house is quite big. No, Shisui. Li Shang subconsciously thought of this sentence, but did not refuse. Shisui closed the door, 
sat on the floor, and said in a deep voice, I once had the same doubts as you, but later I understood that it's not a question of the will of fire, but that we haven't broken free from the constraints of our clan. Li Shang made a timely gesture of listening, with a look of incomprehension in his eyes. Simply put, the perspective you use to think about problems should not be based on the Uchiha clan, but should prioritize the bigger picture and consider the interests of Konoha. Shisui stared into his eyes and said, you must have the determination to abandon the concept of the clan in order to fully comprehend the will of fire. Li Shang heard the firmness in his words. Shisui's catchphrase was determination. He had already said it twice. In a sense, his viewpoint was correct. But there is a premise, Konoha is everyone's Konoha, not just Sarutobi Hiruzen's or Shimura Danzo's Konoha. What should we do if there is a conflict between the clan and Konoha? Quote dot 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 quote. Shisui, who was talking big, fell silent. This question had troubled him for many years. So far, he had not found an answer. But he believed that Uchiha Lang mentioning this question was just a coincidence, not because he was currently in a dilemma. If that's the case, we need to judge which side is right and mediate between them. Shisui sighed inwardly and answered. But not all conflicts have a right or wrong. He knew that his answer was inadequate. What if one day both the clan and Konoha are right from their respective perspectives? Li Shang naturally referred to the Uchiha clan's coup. From the perspective of the Uchiha clan, they had great power but did not have the corresponding authority. In addition, there were criticisms from the residents of Konoha and covert suppression from the higher-ups of Konoha. If he were a member of the Uchiha clan, he would definitely hope for a coup. But from Konoha's perspective, the Uchiha clan was powerful and arrogant, beyond control. Especially in the Nine Tails incident a few years ago, the Sharingan symbol in the eyes of the Nine Tails was too obvious. In addition, with the legacy inherited from the second Hokage Senju Tobarama, how could Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo, as his disciples, not be on guard against the Uchiha clan? Shisui fell silent, not knowing how to answer. He looked at Li Shang, who was in the sunlight, and had an inexplicable feeling of wanting to escape. Perhaps a long time ago, he had similar thoughts. The contradiction between Konoha and the Uchiha clan was like a silent monster emerging from the dark night, ready to devour him. He was reminded for the first time that the will of fire was not all-powerful. After a moment, Shisui showed a bitter smile. He was not Sarutobi Hiruzen, able to say beautiful words at this time. And deceiving the younger generation of the clan had no meaning. His greatest wish was for the Uchiha clan to integrate into Konoha. But the current situation was becoming increasingly difficult. This question is difficult to answer. There was an obvious confusion in Shisui's tone. Li Shang understood that he had been searching for a win-win solution. If the fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato were here, perhaps there would be a turning point. But during the Nine Tails rampage, Uchiha Fugaku, as the clan head, lost the best opportunity due to indecisiveness. He suddenly remembered a phrase from his previous life, I would rather make mistakes than do nothing. Clearly possessing the Mangekio Sharingan and the authority of the clan head, he wavered between his clan and Konoha, ultimately leading to the worst outcome. It seems that my understanding of the will of fire is still not enough. Shisui was not in the mood to continue and said, let's stop here for today. Perhaps it's not Shisui's problem, but rather a deviation in the current will of fire. Lang, don't say such things recklessly. Hokage-sama cannot make mistakes. Shisui's face turned serious. The will of fire was carried forward by Sarutobi Hiruzen. In his heart, no one was allowed to slander it. Li Shang did not say anything further, but it did not mean he had given up. He needed some information. On his way out, he encountered Uchiha Itachi, another genius within the clan. He greeted him and left. Itachi found it a bit strange. Because in his impression, Uchiha Lang and Shisui had no connection. He walked familiarly to his room and saw Shisui, who was usually calm and powerful, with a rare look of confusion on his face. Uchiha Itachi couldn't help but wonder what had happened. Li Shang went to the library in Konoha. He didn't finish reading until dusk. On his way back to the clan's territory, he stopped by a river. Sasuke, practicing ninjutsu. The five-year-old Sasuke looked up at him and pouted. Children couldn't hide their emotions. He had always admired his brother, Uchiha Itachi. 
Uchiha Lang was the genius second only to his brother within the clan. But Sasuke believed that position should belong to him. In other words, he was jealous. According to seniority, you should call me brother. Li Shang walked up to him and ruffled his head. Sasuke couldn't dodge in time and rolled his eyes, saying, You're not my brother, I only have Uchiha Itachi as my brother. Is that so? Li Shang glanced at the remaining traces of ninjutsu and said, Do you want to give your brother a big surprise? As long as you call me, Lang Ji Yi, I will teach you a very powerful fire style technique. Sasuke's favorite moments were when his brother taught him ninjutsu. But Uchiha Itachi was too busy. In addition, he had a teacher, Uchiha Fugaku. However, his father often compared him to Uchiha Itachi, which made him a little afraid of hearing sighs from his father. As a result, he became particularly diligent and practicing fire style by the river had become a daily routine. What kind of ninjutsu? Sasuke subconsciously looked up and asked. Fire style. Phoenix flower claw. Li Shang took two steps back and formed hand seals facing the river. Flames emitted from his mouth, enveloping the shuriken in his hand, blooming like scattered phoenix flowers. The river suddenly exploded, splashing a two-meter high water column. And the shuriken, with its high temperature, continued its momentum and sank into the riverbed. Soon, a distorted heat wave formed. Sasuke couldn't help but widen his eyes. Uchiha Itachi had been on the battlefield since he was four years old and had seen a lot. But Sasuke was different. For him, the effect displayed by a B-ranked ninjutsu was already quite shocking. Sasuke was instantly conflicted. Are you really not considering it? Li Zhang's demonic whisper sounded in his ear. At your age, if you can learn this ninjutsu, it will undoubtedly greatly surprise your father and your brother. In a sense, he did not deceive Sasuke. Ordinary genin only knew the three-body technique and basic ninja tool usage. B-ranked ninjutsu was only mastered by a few chunin and janin. Lang, Lang Ge, Sasuke pouted and called out. He was unwilling, but in order to learn ninjutsu, he could only give in. Li Shang couldn't help but laugh. Playing with children was really fun. And Sasuke's expression reminded him of a gif posted by a silly netizen in his previous life. Sasuke shouted, Nicole Nicole dot gif. Li Shang did not break his promise and taught him the Phoenix Flower Claw Red technique. Sasuke was instantly delighted, like a child who had just received an authentic Bandai product. A new day. According to Konoha's procedure, after graduating from the Ninja Academy, one would be assigned to a certain Janin. Unless Uchiha Fugaku intervened, Li Shang would not be an exception. In the morning, he left home and prepared to have breakfast at Ichiraku Ramen. Li Shang was an orphan. In the previous simulations, he had parents, but not this time. Perhaps it was because he used too many cheats. After all, there is a saying, using cheats will result in the death of the entire family. Perhaps this is the reason why many protagonists are orphans. Ahem, single-player games don't count, that's called a mod. Li Shang raised an eyebrow. The atmosphere near Ichiraku Ramen was very strange. Faintly, one could hear foxes and monsters around. He understood in his heart, pulled open the door curtain, and saw Uzumaki Naruto. With a messy head of yellow hair, he was happily eating ramen, completely oblivious to the outside comments. Li Shang paid no attention and ordered a bowl of pork bone ramen. However, Uzumaki Naruto heard the voice and glanced at him. There was surprise in his eyes. Because he was used to being treated with distance and respect by others. But he didn't say anything and left after finishing his ramen. While Li Shang was halfway through his meal, he saw Shisui. Ro, the clan leader is calling for you. Okay. Li Shang probably guessed what it was about. Just like Uchiha Itachi. He was not allowed to follow other team leading Jonin, but to serve the clan. Shisui, don't leave later, I have something to ask you. Li Shang stood outside the door and said. Shisui nodded. Teacher. Li Shang knocked on the door and entered, bowing and saluting. Ro, I have already explained to the Hokage, you don't need to follow the normal ninja procedure. Uchiha Fugaku said calmly, do more missions this year, promote to Chunin, and join Anbu with Itachi. Yes, although Li Shang felt somewhat surprised, his expression did not reveal anything. You may leave. Uchiha Fugaku waved his hand and said, 
Itachi will take you on missions when the time comes. After Li Shang left, he went to Shisui's house. After our conversation yesterday, I went to the library and found some information about the Will of Fire. What is it? Shisui couldn't help but look at Li Shang. He didn't expect him to be genuinely interested. This child might be the next Uchiha Itachi. Although he was frustrated yesterday, it didn't hinder his belief in the Will of Fire. It's the explanation of the Will of Fire by the first Hokage, Senju Hashirama. Li Shang handed over the information. Oh, this. Shisui was slightly surprised and smiled, if you have any questions, you can ask. I have read these materials. The original intention of the first Hokage was to give children a happy childhood in Konoha, not to fight on the battlefield. Li Shang talked about something that many people in Konoha knew, as this original intention had been widely promoted by Sarutobi Hiruzen. But why were so many children forced to participate in the last great ninja war? Shisui clearly didn't expect this question. After a moment, he said, it was because there weren't enough manpower, and entering the battlefield early would promote their growth. Uchiha Fugaku took Uchiha Itachi, who was only four years old, to the battlefield for similar reasons. But from Li Zhang's perspective from his previous life, letting such young children kill would only lead to one outcome, leaving behind a huge psychological shadow and going down an irreversible path. Not enough manpower. Where were third Hokage, Shimura Danzo, and the two Hokage advisors at that time? And promoting the growth of children is a lie. You also participated in the last great ninja war and should know that most of the children died on the battlefield because of white zetsu. Li Shang shook his head and said word by word, Shisui, Hokage betrayed the will of fire and Konoha. Was Konoha really at its wit's end during the Third Great Ninja War? Clearly, it wasn't. Sarutobi Hiruzen, Shimura Danzo, the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, and others all stayed in Konoha. If they had taken action, there wouldn't have been so many children who died. What did you say? Shisui's voice trembled. He was shocked and even horrified by Li Zhang's last sentence. No one had ever dared to question Sarutobi Hiruzen. Whenever the will of fire was mentioned in the ninja world, it would undoubtedly praise this great shinobi. It was the first time he had heard someone say that Sarutobi Hiruzen betrayed the will of fire. This was simply an unimaginable blasphemy. Li Shang picked up the teapot on the table and poured a cup for Shisui and himself. He knew that a change in mindset couldn't be achieved with just a few words even though he had the eloquence of a talented E-ranked ninja. But Shisui had been brainwashed by the will of fire too deeply. Li Shang took a sip of cold tea, and he already had a plan for what to do next. Today's task was to plant an extraordinary seed in Shisui. Shisui, you can't say things like that anymore. Shisui stared at the calm Li Shang and suddenly realized that he couldn't understand this fellow clan member. He had thought that he was the younger brother who needed guidance, but after two conversations, it seemed like he was the one being guided. Hokage-sama would never betray Konoha. Shisui took a deep breath, as if he was trying to convince himself. He's not that kind of ninja. No one is perfect, even the wise can make mistakes. Li Shang locked eyes with him and asked, Shisui, do you believe in the will of fire of Konoha or the will of fire of Hokage-sama? Of course, it's the will of fire of Konoha. Shisui hesitated for a moment, but chose the former as his answer. Li Shang put down his teacup. At least there was still hope. In that case, why don't you let go of Hokage-sama and re-examine the will of fire? Li Shang handed him some documents. Shisui looked at the sentence on the cover, lost in thought. Everything must be studied in order to understand. Quoted from Master Lu Xuan. Li Shang stood up and said, Shisui, if you make up your mind, come find me again. I'll show you something interesting. Shisui snapped back to reality, took a sip of tasteless tea, and started reading the documents. In the afternoon, Uchiha Itachi knocked on the door and woke him up. It's Itachi, what's up? Shisui showed a gentle smile. Shisui, why didn't you go to the training ground today? Uchiha Itachi and Shisui were not only close friends, but also teacher and student. Besides the will of fire, they were also similar in ninjutsu and physical skills. According to their usual routine, if there were no missions, Shisui would go to the training ground to practice ninjutsu with him and discuss the will of fire during breaks, guiding him in the direction of his life. I was chatting with Li Shang for a while. Shisui answered truthfully. 
Li Shang, Uchiha Itachi frowned almost imperceptibly. Since Li Shang graduated, his presence had become hard to ignore. Well, he's just like you, a ninja who is very good at thinking. Shisui thought about their recent conversation and said, I thought I already understood Konoha, but now I realize that I still don't know enough. Uchiha Itachi felt puzzled by his seemingly random words. In his impression, Shisui had never been so discouraged before. He might feel tired because of the internal conflicts within the Uchiha clan, but he had never shown such negative emotions. At this moment, Shisui's image and Uchiha Itachi's mind subtly changed. Can you tell me about it? Uchiha Itachi spoke up, genuinely curious about what kind of conversation had shaken Shisui. Wait a couple of days. Shisui patted his shoulder and said. He was worried that his misunderstanding would lead Uchiha Itachi astray. Or rather, he had doubts about the will of fire and didn't dare to spread it anymore. Shisui understood Uchiha Itachi very well and knew that he was accustomed to deep thinking due to his early maturity. But it was all just speculation until he encountered the will of fire, which gave him a clear goal. To put it in Li Zhang's words, the young Uchiha Itachi, stimulated by killing at the age of four, was influenced by Shisui without knowing what he truly wanted, and became a follower of the will of fire. In simpler terms, it explained Uchiha Itachi's tragedy. Having extraordinary talent and intelligence, but not receiving the proper education, influenced by the will of fire in his environment, he ended up on a dark path. And his experiences shaped his cold-blooded personality. Uchiha Itachi nodded silently, but he felt that Shisui was already different from before. After leaving Shisui's house, Li Shang found himself without a place to go for a while. Originally, he was supposed to follow the Jonin team to do tasks like milking cows, pulling weeds, and finding cats. But due to Uchiha Fugaku's intervention, he no longer needed to do such troublesome tasks. Li Shang thought for a moment and decided to practice ninjutsu instead. Relying on his photographic memory talent, he memorized many fire-style ninjutsu. If it weren't for the limitation of chakra, he might have been able to skip a level and become a janin. Lang Ge, Lang Ge. As soon as Li Shang arrived at the training ground, he heard a call from not far away. It sounded very childish and excited. Ha, huh, it's actually Sasuke. He was clearly very reluctant to come yesterday. The strength demonstrated the true fragrance theory of a philosopher named Wang Jing's in his previous life. I have a question. Sasuke ran up to Li Shang, panting, and asked, Why is my brother so fast? This question doesn't sound right. I definitely don't know why your brother is so fast. Li Shang subconsciously exclaimed, Ah. Sasuke added, Lang Ge, it takes me three seconds to form the hand seals you taught me yesterday, but my brother only needs one second. Well, this means that your technique is not as advanced as your brother's. Li Shang remembered Uchiha Itachi forming seven hand seals in one second when fighting Kakashi, while Sasuke could only do one seal per second, as slow as a beginner. But even so, he could still keep up with Sasuke in their fights. Not to mention his talent, just this fighting talent alone was enough to make others look up to him. Lang Ge, can you teach me? Sasuke looked at him expectantly. No problem. Li Shang understood his thoughts. Children always want to surprise the people they care about. To improve the speed of forming hand seals, the technique relies on two aspects, speed and simplification. Li Shang talked eloquently. Fortunately, he was born into the Uchiha clan, so he could freely access this precious ninjutsu information. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to teach Sasuke. When Uchiha Itachi arrived, he saw this scene. He couldn't help but be slightly surprised. Apart from himself, it was the first time he noticed Sasuke chatting so happily with someone else. It wasn't that he was jealous, but he found it very unexpected. He actually found Sasuke's personality quite troublesome, so it was a good thing for him to make good friends. But why is it Uchiha Lang again? It's really strange. Uchiha Itachi approached slowly. Oni-san. Sasuke immediately left Li Shang and ran towards Uchiha Itachi. What were you talking about? Uchiha Itachi patted his head. In his eyes, his younger brother was the most important. Ah, nothing. Sasuke shook his head. He didn't want his brother to know for now. Uchiha Itachi didn't press further, but he was more interested in Uchiha Lang. Lang, 
Father has already told me that you will accompany me on missions in the future. He looked at the calm young man in front of him and said, Three days later, meet at the entrance of Konoha village. His tone was quite calm. As a ninja, Uchiha Itachi was undoubtedly the most qualified. But Li Shang found it difficult to agree with the profession of being a ninja. I will be there on time. Li Shang showed a faint smile. In the previous simulations, he died on the night of the Uchiha clan massacre. But today is different, he wants to spar with Uchiha Itachi. It was early morning, still dim and not yet fully bright. The air in Konoha was particularly refreshing in April, but Shisui, who hadn't slept all night, had no mood to appreciate it. He arrived at Li Zhang's doorstep, but his raised hand hesitated to knock. Suddenly, Shisui found himself unable to make up his mind. The phrase he often used to say was, determination, but he never expected to be so conflicted when it came to himself. He carefully read through the information Li Shang had given him several times. Unprecedented attention to detail, coupled with their conversation during the day, made Shisui discover the flaws in Sarutobi Hirazan. Or rather, the stark difference between him and Senju Hashirama's actions. The reason he hadn't noticed before was because of the decades of prestige accumulated by Sarutobi Hirazan. Both Shisui and Uchiha Itachi were extremely intelligent geniuses. But their upbringing determined that they would not rebel against Sarutobi Hirazan. As the saying goes, those involved are often blinded, while bystanders see clearly. And then Li Shang suddenly appeared. His words were truly eye-opening. Shisui was startled, just like a netizen who had just encountered the UC shock department in a past life. But Li Shang wasn't just talking nonsense, he had solid evidence. The sound of knocking on the door interrupted their thoughts. Thinking about the endless internal disputes within the Uchiha clan, Shisui was filled with determination. Without a doubt, he saw Li Shang as a lifeline. Shisui, why so early? Li Shang yawned and asked. His expression now was just like Su Shi waking up Zhang Wyman. I couldn't sleep. Shisui took a deep breath. You said you wanted to tell me something, so I came. Looking at his solemn expression, Li Shang couldn't help but want to make a sarcastic comment. What's going on? Why so serious? Good thing you're a guy. Otherwise, others might think I'm trying to take advantage of you. I can't beat you in fencing. Although Li Shang had a photographic memory, he couldn't beat Shisui in a real fight. It can only be said that the Sharingan is truly extraordinary. The cheat he activated is still not enough. Have you had breakfast? Li Shang closed the door and walked out. No, I'm not hungry. Shisui was too eager to unravel his doubts, so he didn't care about eating. But I am hungry. Li Shang raised his hand and said, go to Ichiraku Ramen. If we're lucky, you'll hear what I want to tell you. Shisui was puzzled, but he held back his questions. Pork bone ramen. Li Shang, as always. Seeing this, Shisui said, same for me. After waiting for a moment, Uzumaki Naruto rushed in, shouting, uncle. Char Shao Pork Rib Ramen. Shisui subconsciously glanced at him, his face froze, and he turned his head and whispered, Lang, let's leave. Why? Li Shang continued eating his ramen without even looking at him. We can't get involved with him. Shisui frowned and said, it will bring great trouble to the Uchiha clan, especially at this critical time. Just because he's the Nine Tails Jinchuriki. If you already know, then why? Shisui suddenly stopped and asked, the thing you wanted to show me, is it him? That's right, I don't understand. Don't you think Uzumaki Naruto's existence is the biggest challenge to third Hokage's will of fire? Li Shang took a sip of ramen and smiled, aren't the people of Konoha like family? Is this how family treats each other? There's a reason for this. Shisui subconsciously defended Serutobi Hirazan, saying, it's normal for Konoha to fear Jinchuriki after the Nine Tails incident. Is it normal? Li Shang snorted coldly, blaming and hating a five-year-old child. It's ridiculous. And his identity, you know it too, the son of the fourth Hokage. With so many options, why did he choose this? Quote dot 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 quote. After a moment of silence, Shisui said, the leak of Uzumaki Naruto's identity was Root's doing, it has nothing to do with the Hokage. There he was, the legendary scapegoat, Shimura Danzo. Li Shang pointed to the bowl of pork bone ramen in front of him and said, pork bone and ramen complement each other. They are intertwined. 
Can you say that only the pork bone moves? It's like if I slap you and say it was my hand that hit you, not me. Shimura Danzo only dared to plan for the position of Hokage after Sarutobi Hiruzen's death, which proves that this Hokage is not naive. Li Shang believed that Sarutobi Hiruzen was wholeheartedly devoted to Konoha. Otherwise, he wouldn't have sacrificed both hands for Orochimaru. But he is not perfect, he has flaws, and they are not small. Shisui had idealized him too much, thinking that Sarutobi Hiruzen and Konoha shared honor and disgrace, representing the will of fire, and would never want to confront him with force until death. Everyone is extremely complex, Li Shang put down his chopsticks in front of him and said, Shisui, give up the illusions that shouldn't exist. Is there really only one path, which is fighting? Shisui became even more puzzled. In the original story, he would rather commit suicide than see a war between the Uchiha clan and Konoha. In a sense, his death led to Uchiha Itachi's motivation to annihilate the clan. No, Li Shang shook his head and said, Konoha has just experienced the Nine Tails incident. If there is another turmoil, it will definitely be severely weakened. It will give neighboring ninja villages a chance to take advantage. So, what do you mean? Shisui became even more unable to understand. Deal with the root cause. Li Shang spoke lightly. Obito alone could control the fourth Mizukage, and Orochimaru alone could assassinate the fourth case cage and take his place. Shisui and Uchiha Itachi, with their Mangekio Sharingan, couldn't control the Hokage. It's simply unreasonable. Oh, and let's not forget Uchiha Fugaku. You can be defeated in such a wealthy battle. Leave it to Lao Li, not to mention Pingan County, he dares to bombard the enemy's rear headquarters. That's impossible, Shisui refused without hesitation. Quote dot 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 quote. Li Shang suddenly felt like he was talking to a wall. RNM, refund. I know what you're thinking. Li Shang sighed and said, since that's the case, let's try whether your respected third Hokage has betrayed the will of fire. Shisui was slightly startled and noticed Uzumaki Naruto in the distance. He exclaimed, do you mean? I haven't reached that point yet. I'm talking about the Konoha Police Department. Li Shang shook his head and asked, What do you think of the current situation in the Konoha Police Department? It's terrible, Shisui spoke honestly. Why? The Uchiha clan's character leads them to handle matters without considering the consequences. If you know this, the Hokage must know too. Why does he let it go on? Li Shang looked at him and said, He does it to exclude you from the center of power in Konoha. Hokage, he, Shisui was almost speechless. Sarutobi Hiruzen taught the will of fire, which was to integrate the shinobi into Konoha. But why is it that only the Uchiha clan is becoming more and more distant? Character may be one aspect, but the main reason lies with Konoha. Li Shang snapped his fingers and said, Talk is cheap, let's try it out, shall we? How do we try? Shisui frowned. If there was a way, he would have implemented it long ago. The main gate is sealed, so let's go through the back door. Li Shang smiled and whispered a few words in his ear. Shisui's eyes widened instantly, and he froze in place. Hey hey, the method can be unconventional, but it can't be sinister. In just three short days, Shisui felt that Li Shang had become extremely unfamiliar to him. The image of him in Shisui's mind was like a roller coaster, ups and downs, completely different from before. In addition, Li Zhang's words exceeded his imagination. Shisui couldn't make up his mind. Although he had made up his mind before knocking on the door, he now faced an even more difficult choice. A secret confrontation with Sarutobi Hiruzen. Shisui always felt that this was a betrayal. No matter what I say, the final decision is up to you. Li Shang saw Shisui's hesitation and said, Just as I have always believed, the help of others is just icing on the cake. Only oneself can save oneself. Shisui trembled. All his actions had been to avoid conflict between the Uchiha clan and Konoha. But he had placed his greatest hope in Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo. Now that Li Shang had exposed the true intentions of the two of them, would he be pushing the Uchiha clan into the abyss by acting alone? Shisui's heart was already wavering. For him, Li Zhang's method was an opportunity, a chance to prove the intentions of the higher-ups in Konoha. I will arrange it. Shisui's attitude became very firm. He was not an indecisive person. In the original work, 
he was able to expose the distinguished heavenly gods to Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo, proving his decisiveness. But this move was too foolish. Or rather, he had been forced to lose his composure by the Uchiha clan's rebellion. I have nothing to do these two days, so I can help. Not because he was kind-hearted, but because Li Shang was interested in what would happen next. Shisui did not doubt his motives, on the contrary, he thanked him for his involvement. After all, it was Li Shang who proposed the method. Konoha had many institutions, and the most special one was the Konoha Police Department. Because it was essentially the Uchiha clan's private institution. When the second Hokage Senju Toborama created the Konoha Police Department and handed it over to the Uchiha clan, it was an opportunity. The first purpose was to reward merit. The Uchiha clan and the Senju clan were the founding elders of Konoha, and their contributions were undeniable. The Konoha Police Department was responsible for the public security of Konoha and, in terms of power, was not inferior to the Anbu. But unfortunately, things change and nature is hard to change. Due to their own nature, the Uchiha clan could not achieve Senju Toborama's second purpose, integration into Konoha. The function of the Konoha Police Department was a combination of urban management and police. If handled properly, it could gain the recognition of Konoha residents. But they were too competent and lacked empathy in dealing with neighborhood disputes, which inevitably offended people. If it were the Anbu, they might have thrived. But the Konoha Police Department and the Anbu were completely different organizations. Although Serutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo were disciples of Senju Toborama, they did not have the broad-mindedness and means of the second Hokage. They intensified the situation, completely alienating the Uchiha clan and the residents of Konoha. If it weren't for Senju Toborama cultivating a group of Uchiha clan members like Uchiha Kagami, causing Shisui and Uchiha Itachi to turn against them, they might not have been able to withstand internal strife. Li Zhang's method was to restore the reputation of the Konoha Police Department and see how the higher-ups in Konoha would react. If their reaction was approval and happiness, it would prove Shisui's correctness. Serutobi Hiruzen did indeed hope that every shinobi could live in harmony in Konoha. But if not, Shisui would no longer be able to deceive himself. Shisui, brother. As soon as Shisui entered the Konoha Police Department with Li Shang, these three words kept ringing in his ears. The Uchiha clan disdained associating with the weak, but respected the strong. This was also one of the reasons why Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama became close friends. And Shisui was currently the strongest genius of the Uchiha clan, shining brightly in the Third Great Ninja War. Among the younger generation, he could be considered an idol. An office. Shisui is reviewing some documents. The Konoha Police Department has a large number of personnel and is normally divided into multiple groups to patrol various areas of Konoha. Although the situation has been bad in recent years and the number of patrols has decreased, the department is still functioning. What wind blew you here today? A middle-aged man walks in from outside the door. Uchiha Fugaku is the head of the Konoha Police Department, but he mostly stays in the Uchiha clan's territory. On regular days, he is in charge of the Uchiha clan. Uncle Hachida, Shisui looks up and greets him. Are you checking on these brats because you have nothing better to do? Hachida glances at the documents in front of Shisui, which are the members on patrol today. He doesn't hold back at all. Even Shisui, when he sees him, has to show respect. Because he is the instructor of the Konoha Police Department, even Uchiha Fugaku greatly admires him. No. Shisui puts down the documents and asks, Uncle Hachida, can you assign me the recent patrol missions? You can if you want. Among the younger generation, Hachida likes Shisui the most, but things are what they are. Shisui is currently a member of the Anbu and is close to Serutobi Hiruzen. And Hachida is a staunch supporter of the clan. But you have to give me a reason. You also attended the clan meeting last time, so you should understand that the situation within the clan is not good. Shisui naturally knows that it's impossible to convince him with just a few words. The most correct approach would be for him to confront Uchiha Fugaku first. But he can't predict what the clan leader is thinking. He seems to support the Hawks, but he doesn't stop Uchiha Itachi from associating with him, a dove. Hachida furrows his brows at Shisui's words. He understands Shisui, so he quickly connects the two things and says, 
Do you think that by arranging the patrols yourself, you can change the current situation of the Konoha Police Department? That's impossible. I know, Shisui nods and says in a deep voice, but I want to give it a try. Hachida can't help but sigh. At this moment, he still doesn't know what Li Zhang's method is, so he decides to give Shisui some face. Because it's an insignificant matter. Changing the personnel of a mere patrol team won't bridge the gap between the Uchiha clan and Konoha. However, the next day, Hachida heard the news and directly sprayed out the mouthful of tea. What did you say? Quote dot 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 quote. The young man reporting the news dared not speak and wiped the tea off his face, saying, Shisui replaced all the patrol members with beautiful girls. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Hachida didn't understand, but he was greatly shocked. What the hell is this? He stood up and said, take me there. The young man nodded and walked ahead. They quickly arrived at their destination. Hachida stood on the rooftop and looked across at the izakaya. With years of experience, he immediately saw the cause of the incident. A fight caused by drunkenness. Normally, when the Konoha Police Department shows up, the fighting parties naturally scatter. But this time was different. He saw a beautiful girl wearing the Uchiha clan's regular attire gently persuading them like a gentle breeze and drizzling rain. Even the most irritable man would calm down at this moment. In the end, the girl even said, Sir, please come and visit often when you have time. Hachida was petrified on the spot. What he didn't know was that the appearance of these girls was carefully chosen. Li Shang chose popular characters from the previous world that were often used to test senior officials, such as Tifa, Kurinai, Mary Rose, and so on. The Uchiha clan unexpectedly made it to the top of Konoha's hot search in a way that no one could have anticipated. Except for Li Shang and Shisui, they were just as confused. What's going on? Sarutobi Hirazan exhaled a ring of smoke and looked at the Anbu ninja in front of him wearing a frog mask. Upon hearing this news, he thought it was his telescope technique that had injured his body and caused hallucinations. It's Uchiha Shisui. The ANBU's tone remained as calm as ever. After all, they were professionally trained and generally wouldn't lose their composure. Although he confirmed the information several times before daring to report it to the third Hokage. Shisui was his colleague, he usually behaved very seriously. But he never expected this kid to be like this. Sarutobi Hirazan didn't know what the Anbu in front of him was thinking. He took a puff from his pipe and his thoughtful eyes still shone brightly. He understood Shisui. This method couldn't have been his idea. If Jiraiya hadn't returned to the village, he would have suspected him. But even if it was him, he couldn't have secretly contacted the Uchiha clan without his knowledge. There must be something fishy about this. Go and bring me the list of people Shisui has been in contact with these past few days. Sarutobi Hirazan gestured with his left hand and gave the order. The Anbu immediately disappeared and quickly reappeared with a file in hand. Although Shisui was a member of the Anbu, he had always been under their surveillance, so it didn't take much time. Sarutobi Hirazan glanced over the personnel listed in the file and couldn't help but furrow his brows. Because it was too normal. Either they were Anbu members or Uchiha clan members. There were no strangers, and no abnormal events. But normality seemed even more abnormal. Shisui had already thought of the so-called beauty trap, was that reasonable? He wasn't from India, would he jump into the Ganges River and shout, this is the Ganges River? Who has Shisui been close to these past few days? Sarutobi Hirazan tapped his pipe and asked, Uchiha Itachi and Uchiha Nami. The Anbu immediately replied, Uchiha Nami. Sarutobi Hirazan was somewhat surprised and asked, the genius second only to Uchiha Itachi. As for Uchiha Itachi, he wasn't surprised. These two often hung out together. But Uchiha Nami, although Shisui knew her, their relationship was obviously average. It's her. Tell me more. Uchiha Shisui is very powerful, and we don't have a lot of records on him. The Anbu glanced at Sarutobi Hirazan and continued, A few days ago, Uchiha Nami graduated, and Shisui went to visit her and had a long conversation. At the same time, the two of them went to the Konoha Police Department together yesterday. The mole has been caught. After hearing the second half of the sentence, Sarutobi Hirazan was already certain that the reason was Uchiha Nami. But he couldn't just assume that Shisui had betrayed them. If they lost this spy, 
their grasp of information about the Uchiha clan would be instantly weakened. He couldn't afford to lose him without confirmation. And Shisui himself was a genius. Konoha was currently facing a serious problem, a generational gap. After Minato's death, Kakashi was in a slump, and it was difficult to find a young generation to carry the banner. Both Shisui and Uchiha Itachi had this potential, but unfortunately, they were from the Uchiha clan. He didn't have such a broad mind to fully trust them. Thinking of Minato, Sarutobi Hiruzen felt a bit sad. But this atmosphere was quickly dispersed. Cold and gloomy. Shimura Danzo. You go first. Sarutobi Hiruzen waved his hand at the Anbu Ninja and then turned to his good friend, asking, what's the matter? Is it about the Konoha police force? After speaking, he took a puff of his cigarette. Danzo nodded slightly and said, because of Shisui's actions, the residents of Konoha have had a change in attitude towards the Konoha police force. Isn't that a bit exaggerated? Sarutobi Hiruzen didn't think this thing would be of much use. He was concerned about Shisui. A thousand-mile dike can collapse in an ant hole. Danzo said with a cold expression, every little thing is worth paying attention to, especially when it concerns the Uchiha clan. HMPH, I've told you before, let Shisui join Root. Sarutobi Hiruzen narrowed his eyes. He knew exactly what Root was, so there was no way he would give Shisui to Danzo. But what he said made sense. The Uchiha clan's emotions were currently unstable, and if Shisui deviated again, things might head in an unpredictable direction. Shisui is an extremely important step in our plan. We can't let him be influenced by anything. Danzo looked at him and said, put away your pointless compassion, I'll handle it. The two of them knew each other well, and he believed that Sarutobi Hiruzen wouldn't be soft in this matter. After all, he was a shinobi. There are only wrong names, no wrong nicknames. Wait a little longer. Sarutobi Hiruzen took a puff of his pipe and said, let's not act hastily. Uchiha Fugaku's disciple, Uchiha Itachi, is going out on a mission with him tomorrow. We can observe a little longer. He was slightly different from Danzo. He didn't want to meet the Uchiha clan in battle unless absolutely necessary. In the original work, it was also mentioned that when Uchiha Itachi reported the rebellion to Konoha, only he wanted to negotiate for peace among the higher-ups. But that was the limit. HMPH, you'll regret it. Danzo felt disappointed and turned to leave. The next day, at the entrance of Konoha village. Shisui, make sure to follow us later, but don't let the Anbu ninja notice. Li Shang glanced at Uchiha Itachi not far away and said in a low voice. What do you mean? Are they going to attack you? Shisui found it a bit unbelievable. Uchiha Fugaku's disciple and Uchiha Itachi, one was the clan head's disciple, the other was the clan head's son. How dare they? It doesn't necessarily mean they'll attack. Li Shang shook his head and said, but they will definitely take some action. Since the Nine Tails incident, the Uchiha clan had been under surveillance by Konoha. In other words, Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo would definitely take notice of his existence. Although they were not good at external warfare, they were invincible in internal warfare. Li Shang didn't underestimate them. He just had the advantage of information asymmetry, and in all seriousness, he couldn't outplay them. I will. Shisui took a deep breath. He was hesitant now. He hoped that what Li Shang said was true, but also hoped it was false. After finishing their conversation, Li Shang bid farewell to him. Although Uchiha Itachi was curious about the content of their conversation, he didn't ask. He wasn't the kind of person who couldn't hide his emotions. Seeing his appearance, Li Shang couldn't help but feel that he didn't look like a 10-year-old, but rather like a 30-year-old. Incredibly mature, but lacking in education. His mind was filled with methods, almost no different from Danzo, except for killing, it was still killing. All combat skills, no emotions. If it weren't for the simulator, Li Shang really wouldn't want to deal with him. You're a genin, so the level of our mission isn't high. Uchiha Itachi took out a scroll and said, take a look at the contents yourself. Ninja mission levels are divided into D, C, B, A, and S. Just graduated genin can only take D rank missions. Although Li Shang is a genius of the Uchiha clan, it is impossible for him to start with an S rank mission. A C rank mission, to find the kidnapped noble lady, Kanai. Li Shang smiled and said, that's a good name. 
Uchiha Itachi glanced at him and didn't think there was anything good about it. He took out a map and said, the kidnappers are demanding a ransom of 200,000 Ryo from Kanai's family, and the location is in the Magical Valley. If the kidnappers are smart, the Magical Valley should not be their main base, but a temporary meeting point for the money. After Li Shang finished speaking, he opened the map. Uchiha Itachi was very serious and meticulous, marking several routes on it. All of them were centered around the Magical Valley, which he speculated to be the kidnappers' main base. Their thoughts were in agreement. But Uchiha Itachi thought further, proving his experience and wisdom. Li Shang was not surprised. He had just graduated and couldn't be stronger than Uchiha Itachi. Let's go. Li Shang returned the map to Uchiha Itachi and pointed to his forehead, saying, I've memorized them. Upon hearing about his photographic memory, Uchiha Itachi didn't say anything else. The two of them leapt through the forest and quickly left the forest of death. The Magical Valley is located in the northern part of Konoha Village, about a three-hour journey. They set off at nine in the morning and arrived at their destination close to noon. Uchiha Itachi stopped and a faint wrinkle appeared on his forehead. He said, let's eat first. Li Shang glanced at him. According to Uchiha Itachi's character, although he liked Sansaimaru, he wasn't a foodie. This indicated that he had sensed something unusual. Anbu or Root tracking them. I'll investigate the surroundings first, so that no one notices our campfire. Li Shang spoke when he saw Uchiha Itachi's fingers conjuring flames. He formed hand seals and expanded his perception. There are four people. Uchiha Itachi lit the campfire and said, one Jonin, three Chunin, probably Anbu. For now, he was satisfied with Li Shang. He didn't seem like a just graduated Jenin at all. Although he had never had a teammate, he was well aware of how terrible Jenin's performance could be. At first, Uchiha Fugaku asked him to bring along Uchiha Lang and join Anbu as a spy, which he was actually reluctant to do. Truly a genius of the Uchiha clan. Li Shang put away his ninjutsu and took out a prepared white rabbit from a storage scroll. The taste of the soldier pills was too outrageous, and he couldn't stand it. Uchiha Itachi didn't pay attention to his cooking, but rather to the reason why Anbu was tracking them. A C-rank mission is not worth Anbu's escort, so their goal must be you. Why can't it be you? Li Shang roasted the rabbit meat and smiled, regardless of status or strength, obviously you are more worthy of attention than me. Uchiha Itachi shook his head gently and said, everything is not about appearances. Shisui acted out of character at the Konoha Police Department yesterday. If I were Hokage, I would definitely investigate and find out that you and he have been particularly close these past few days. Although he didn't know the content of Li Shang and Shisui's conversation, he still deduced the truth from the clues. So, genius is an annoying existence. Li Shang shrugged and complained. This kid is only 10 years old. Which 10-year-old child can be this smart? Thinking of Uzumaki Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke, who graduated at 12 in the original work, Although they were protagonists, they were truly too immature compared to Uchiha Itachi. Agreed. Uchiha Itachi calmly uttered four words. In his opinion, Li Zhang's ability to persuade Shisui undoubtedly made him a genius among geniuses. Among peers, Li Shang was the first and only one that he took seriously. Li Shang raised an eyebrow. Mutual flattery in business, full marks. I never thought that one day I would be praised by Uchiha Itachi. Now that you know, what do you plan to do about the tracking Anbu? The best way is to ignore them. Both Uchiha Itachi and Shisui leaned towards the Hokage lineage. If they didn't want to cause a rift, they naturally had to act as if nothing had happened. But I think you and Shisui must have other plans. He calmly analyzed, the two of you had a conversation before leaving, and I believe it was about the Anbu ninja. Li Shang suddenly thought of a phrase. Passing through the wisdom and dying young. Uchiha Itachi's life was undoubtedly the best illustration. Without a proper foundation of knowledge, thinking too much would inevitably lead to the wrong path. If I say that I plan to capture those four Anbu, what would you do? Li Shang asked in return. With your strength, it is impossible for you to do that, so Shisui must be involved as well. Uchiha Itachi looked at him, showing a rare desire to inquire, what exactly did you tell him? Nothing. Li Shang smiled. I just told him that the Hokage betrayed Konoha. 
What? Uchiha Itachi finally lost his usual calmness. Li Zhang's lips curled up. No matter how intelligent one is, when faced with something beyond their grasp, they will feel flustered. In their previous confrontation, he was at a disadvantage, but now the situation had changed, and he had the upper hand. At this moment, Uchiha Itachi had not yet reached the level of coldness he would display on the night of the Uchiha clan massacre. He asked, what do you mean by the Hokage betraying Konoha? The surface meaning, Li Shang casually replied. He recalled Uchiha Itachi's experiences in the original work, which was his biggest advantage. The so-called God's perspective, or hindsight. Li Shang picked up a piece of rabbit leg and handed it to him, asking, I remember you went to the battlefield at the age of four, so do you like war or hate war? Uchiha Itachi said in a deep voice, no one likes war. It was precisely because of this reason that he wanted to understand the world better and yearn for knowledge and power. How do you think we can stop war? The will of fire. Uchiha Itachi's face showed a rare longing, only when everyone works together can we ensure that beloved Konoha remains in peace. To be honest, Li Shang was somewhat surprised. Due to his inherent memories from his previous life, his impression of Uchiha Itachi was extremely negative. But when he said these words, anyone would think that he was an idealist for peace. The only regret was that he was too extreme and cold. In addition, Shisui's death led him to take an approach that he shouldn't have taken. Li Shang pondered for a moment. In order to change the Uchiha clan massacre, Uchiha Itachi's double-edged sword must be used properly. He wouldn't deny the unreasonable things Uchiha Itachi did in the original work, but there was no need to involve the ten-year-old him at the moment. However, if such a situation arose, he would definitely not show mercy. After all, Li Shang had the greatest cheat, unlimited restarts. Konoha is currently in a critical situation. Do you want to save it? Thanks to Ju's novel time big shot for the reward. If we were to rank Uchiha Itachi's priorities, the top spot would not be occupied by Sasuke, but by Konoha. In the original story, Commander assisted in the defection and secretly implanted the distinguished heavenly gods within Uzumaki Naruto's body. Once his younger brother attempts to seek revenge on Konoha, he will inevitably clash with Uzumaki Naruto, triggering the activation of the distinguished heavenly gods, forcibly altering Sasuke's will. So Li Zhang's question is not a problem for him. Even if it means paying an unbearable price, he will choose to save Konoha. What do you mean by crisis? Uchiha Itachi asked. Uchiha Itachi originally thought that the biggest crisis for Konoha was the Uchiha clan, but according to Li Shang, it seems to be related to Serutobi Hiruzen. He couldn't understand. As I said, the Hokage has betrayed Konoha, and his will of fire has become problematic. Li Shang took a bite of rabbit meat and said, the will of fire is not meant to eliminate outsiders. Uchiha Itachi gradually calmed down and asked, who are the outsiders? You're so smart, don't you know what I'm talking about? Li Shang spread his hands and said, the outsiders are us. But, the Hokage, Uchiha Itachi hesitated, he felt that Li Zhang's words were too far-fetched. Because from his personal perception, Serutobi Hiruzen had wholeheartedly dedicated himself to Konoha, and there was no possibility of betrayal. Everything has two sides, Li Shang understood from his past experience that Serutobi Hiruzen had a way of harvesting the trust of children. Undeniably, when he said it, it was genuine, but he failed to put it into practice. Especially in dealing with the Uchiha clan, he appeared indecisive. He only sees the positive side and assumes that the negative side is still the same, Li Shang pointed to the rabbit leg on the bonfire and said, the top is uncooked, but the bottom is burnt. Do you know why you can't see the other side on the Hokage? Uchiha Itachi silently looked at the rabbit meat in front of him. At this moment, his mind was blank. Li Shang raised an eyebrow. It was clear that Uchiha Itachi was hesitant and undecided. He realized that he had overlooked another question. Shisui's death had a deep impact on Uchiha Itachi. But that hadn't happened yet. Uchiha Itachi was far from being the person he would become three years later. He still had a long way to go. Although Li Shang was trying his best to persuade him not to go down this path. What should I do? Uchiha Itachi regarded Li Shang as Shisui in that moment. He saw him as a friend he could communicate with, and also as a teacher who could give him guidance. You should ask yourself, not me, Li Shang put down the rabbit leg, 
crossed his arms, giving him the impression of a godfather. He thought of a phrase, you won't even call me godfather. What is your goal? To protect Konoha, Uchiha Itachi answered without hesitation. Who's Konoha? Li Shang asked again. Everyone's Konoha, Uchiha Itachi still didn't hesitate. Influenced by Shisui, their thoughts were actually quite similar. They hoped that everyone in Konoha could live in harmony. You already know the answer, don't you? Quote dot 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 quote. Uchiha Itachi fell silent for a moment, his intelligence quickly grasping Li Zhang's words. If we compare Konoha to a ship, the Hokage is the captain. If the captain has a problem and instead goes to repair the ship, it is undoubtedly a case of putting the cart before the horse. Now I can tell you about my conversation with Shisui and why the Hokage betrayed Konoha, Li Shang smiled with satisfaction. Talking to intelligent people doesn't require much effort. Of course, another important reason is that in the hearts of Uchiha Itachi and Shisui, Konoha comes first, not the Hokage. Uchiha Itachi listened attentively. Ten minutes later, he pondered, so Shisui's actions at the Konoha Police Department yesterday were for this purpose. The method is quite extraordinary. Li Shang truly lives up to his reputation. It's unconventional, but effective. If the Anbu are tracking us, it proves that Hokage-sama truly does not want to see this change. Whether it's the Konoha Police Department or Shisui, he wants to maintain the status quo. Li Shang still has one more thing to explain. Sarutobi Hiruzen may plan before taking action, but Shimura Danzo won't. If he can use Yamato to assassinate the third generation, he can naturally use Root to assassinate Li Shang and Uchiha Itachi. Among the higher-ups in Konoha, the Hokage is undoubtedly the one who most desires the Uchiha clan's demise. Because he has coveted the Sharingan for far too long. He believes that after obtaining the Sharingan and having Hashirama's cells, his power will increase enough to become Hokage. And the facts have proven his intentions. In the original work, after Uchiha Itachi reported the rebellion, Sarutobi Hiruzen asked him to delay, but Danzo used Sasuke's life as a bargaining chip and ordered him to exterminate the entire clan. I will have Shisui interrogate the four Anbu behind us, and we will continue with our mission as usual. Li Shang continued, Shisui has the Mangekyo Sharingan and can easily modify the memories or subconscious of the Anbu. He and Uchiha Itachi won't be exposed, and Shisui will also obtain the attitude of Sarutobi Hiruzen that he desires. Everyone has a bright future. Uchiha Itachi doesn't know what Li Shang is thinking, but he believes in Shisui. The two of them continue on their way. After a while, they enter the mysterious valley. As they expected, there is no one there, only a note found at the designated location. Leave behind 200,000, and you can leave. Li Shang smiled. These kidnappers are quite professional. Uchiha Itachi took out a storage scroll and poured out the money directly. Quote dot 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 quote. Li Shang tugged at the corner of his mouth. He doesn't even have one-tenth of the wealth. Uchiha Itachi's show-off behavior reminds him of a certain wealthy second generation from his previous life. What Li Shang hates the most is showing off wealth, especially when it's not his own. Ahem, let's get back to the point. We'll proceed on two fronts. Li Shang spoke, leave a clone behind to wait for the kidnapper who comes to collect the money, while we split up and search according to the route you've planned. Uchiha Itachi nodded, as he had the same idea. The two of them acted separately. But it didn't take long for the clone to send back a message. They immediately met up and followed the kidnapper to their hideout. They're too impatient. Li Shang shook his head, thinking they were dealing with professionals, but it turns out they couldn't wait. Perhaps spreading out 200,000 Rio was too grandiose. There's a problem. Uchiha Itachi's gaze froze as he surveyed the mountain peak, which was only about 30 meters tall. It's too quiet. Li Shang gripped his katana. As expected, Danzo took a simple and brutal approach. An ambush. In the next moment, a black downpour fell from the sky. Shuriken attacked indiscriminately. Li Shang flicked his wrist, creating an impenetrable wall of blades in front of him. The shuriken were all deflected. Uchiha Itachi took a deep breath, and with the twisting heat, a massive fireball shot straight towards the direction the shuriken came from. At the same time, his eyes flickered with a crimson color, and three tomo slowly rotated. Three Jonin, I'll deal with the two on the left, and you handle the one on the right. Uchiha Itachi remained calm. 
Although he knew that defeating three Jonin with Li Shang wouldn't be an easy task, they couldn't afford to fail here. Li Shang barely nodded. He knew his own limitations. Dealing with one Jonin was already quite challenging, so he wouldn't try to share the burden with Uchiha Itachi. But he wasn't particularly panicked either. As long as Shisui arrived, they would be safe. Uchiha Itachi possessed the three Tomo Sharingan and was able to handle a 2v1 situation without much difficulty. However, Li Shang did not have his eyes activated. Because his mindset was problematic, he hadn't truly integrated into this world. He was more like playing a game. In addition, he was an orphan with no friends, making it difficult for him to meet the conditions for activating his eyes. But fortunately, he had another trick up his sleeve. His photographic memory talent was somewhat similar to the Sharingan in a certain sense. Just lacking the advantage in vision. Of course, it couldn't be compared to the Mangekio Sharingan. Li Shang also had no intention of relying on force to clear the game. He relied on his intelligence. And who said that he couldn't defeat a Jonin without the Sharingan? In these years, because of his photographic memory, he didn't need to spend time learning ninjutsu, so his main focus was on studying how to quickly release ninjutsu and how to combine different techniques. Just like playing a dungeon game in his previous life, he aimed to achieve the maximum attack effect within a limited time. Li Shang retracted his katana. His right hand reached for his shoulder bag. A rustling sound filled the air. Li Shang furrowed his brows slightly. It was the Abarame clan. A swarm of black bugs, enough to make anyone with entomophobia get goosebumps. Fire style. Phoenix flower claw. Li Shang silently formed hand seals. He could shout out the technique during practice, but it would be exposing himself if he shouted it out during a fight, wouldn't it? As the shuriken flew out, Chakra transformed into raging flames, engulfing the shuriken like a blooming phoenix flower, enveloping the swarm of bugs. At the same time, he quickly used sensory ninjutsu to lock onto the enemy's position. The swarm of bugs caught fire and started burning. Li Shang pulled his right hand, and the invisible chakra threads caused the shuriken to make a 90-degree turn. The Abarame ninja, with an expressionless face, opened his hand. To him, this trick was nothing more than a small clever move. After all, he was just a freshly graduated genin. A swarm of bugs flew out from his sleeve, wrapping around the shuriken and devouring them. But just then, a violent explosion occurred. The flames engulfed the Abarame ninja. Seven explosive tags were ignited. But Li Shang knew that a Jonin wouldn't die so easily. You brat, you will die a miserable death. An angry voice came from Li Zhang's left. Countless swarms of bugs surged like a tide, blocking all directions. Li Shang turned around to look at the Abarame clan ninja. His chakra was completely devoured. Not good. The Abarame ninja inexplicably felt a sense of fear. After all, he was an elite trained by the root, and quickly realized that he had fallen under a genjutsu. Release. His surroundings changed in an instant, and Li Zhang's body disappeared. No matter how slow he was, he realized that this genin's performance was too outstanding to be judged by common sense. Thinking of this, the Abarame ninja's face showed vigilance as he stared intently at his surroundings. But he still couldn't find anything. He flicked his sleeves, and invisible bugs scattered in all directions. So that's where you are. The Abarame ninja glanced at a large rock by the nearby stream. This was Earth style. At this moment, he really wanted to complain. Who the hell told me that he's just a genin? Being able to proficiently use two elemental ninjutsu already reached the level of a janin. Truly worthy of being on par with Uchiha Itachi, the Uchiha prodigy. The Abarame ninja remained vigilant, preparing to launch an attack while Li Shang was off guard. But suddenly, a strong sense of crisis surged in his heart. He instinctively looked down, only to see that his surroundings were filled with densely packed wires and explosive tags. A massive burst of flames shot up into the sky. Li Shang still didn't make any movements. After a moment, the Abarame ninja stood up. His current state was not good. Even though he used a swarm of insects as a shield, the high temperature and the forceful vibrations caused him serious injuries. His whole body was covered in bloodstains. But the physical pain was nothing compared to the anger in his heart. Being continuously toyed with, the Abarame ninja was now furious to the ultimate degree. However, he did not lose his rationality. He stared at Li Shang, 
who had merged with the rocks, while using the swarm of insects to investigate if there were any explosive tags around. Explosive tags were essentially a way to seal ninjutsu within a talisman. It wasn't difficult to identify them. Especially for the swarm of insects, they could sense the hidden chakra deep within. But he found nothing. The Abarame ninja breathed a sigh of relief. Li Shang was just a genin, and explosive tags were expensive. He probably couldn't afford too many. And his swarm of insects had never made a mistake. You brat, still hiding, the Abarame ninja shouted angrily, and a swarm of black insects surged all over his body. In the end, he still didn't become complacent and chose to attack from a distance. Even if there were explosive tags, they wouldn't be triggered as long as he didn't move. Li Shang felt a strong sense of oppression, separated from the rocks, and spat out a great fireball. HMPH, useless struggle. What can a mere great fireball technique do? The Abarame ninja didn't finish his sentence, as he suddenly saw the water in the creek surging, and it was black. A strong smell of oil spread out. He couldn't help but widen his eyes. At this moment, he finally realized that Li Shang wasn't motionless hidden in the rocks, but had secretly poured oil into the stream. The fireball instantly expanded. Originally only one meter high, it turned into 30 meters in an instant, completely engulfing him. This power was no less than Jiraiya's fire style, toad oil flame bullet. The range was too wide, with nowhere to escape. According to Uchiha's character, Li Shang should have shown a smug smile at this moment, stepping on his corpse, and saying a victorious line. Like, you fool, no one dares to underestimate the Uchiha. But Li Shang wasn't that ostentatious. At this moment, his thought was, I actually killed someone with the great fireball technique. It was pretty cool. The flames still didn't extinguish, spreading on the mountain. Fortunately, it wasn't in his previous life, otherwise this fire would have landed him in prison for a lifetime of free food and drink. He won this battle relatively luckily. Because his opponent was from the Abarame clan. High emotional intelligence, the Abarame clan was very comprehensive. Low emotional intelligence, the Abarame clan was quite mediocre. In terms of combat, they were obviously not as formidable as other Jonin. If it came to close combat, Li Shang would probably have to sing, Liang Liang, a song, in defeat. 1. Because he was young and his physical abilities hadn't reached their peak. 2. Because his taijutsu skills were indeed not that great. Lang, the voice was still in the distance, but Shisui had already appeared in front of Li Shang. Truly worthy of being Shisui with body flicker. After the death of the fourth Hokage Minato, Shisui was undoubtedly the fastest man in Konoha. Are you okay? Shisui asked with concern on his face. Do I look like I'm in trouble? Li Shang shrugged and said, if you don't go help Itachi soon, he might end up as a corpse. Shisui was shocked by his words and quickly ran towards the mountaintop. The battle quickly came to an end. Li Shang leisurely walked up to the two of them. Shisui was examining the body, but his expression was not good. Is it a root ninja? Li Shang casually asked. Shisui nodded silently. First Anbu, then Root. Li Shang sighed and said with emotion, What has the Uchiha clan done to be so hated? I don't understand. Shisui's tone was low as he asked, If he kills you in Itachi, the Uchiha clan will definitely rebel. Why would Lord Danzo do something that is not beneficial to Konoha? Hasn't he always been thinking of Konoha's well-being? From his actions in the original work, it could be seen that he had great trust in Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo. Chapter 11. Danzo was only thinking for himself and Konoha, Li Shang replied bluntly, as I mentioned before, Konoha and the Hokage cannot be equated. Upon hearing the word, Hokage, Uchiha Itachi looked at the silent Shisui and asked, did you gain anything from interrogating the Anbu? He didn't have a good impression of Danzo, but he cared deeply about Sarutobi Hiruzen. Because of his conversation with Li Shang, he wanted to know if the Hokage had betrayed the will of fire. The Anbu ninjas said their mission was to track down Wave, Shisui said. He didn't say the rest. But Uchiha Itachi already understood the implied meaning. Everything was just as Li Shang had predicted. The attitude of the higher-ups in Konoha towards the Uchiha clan was clearly evident. Whether it was Serutobi Hiruzen or Shimura Danzo, neither of them intended to follow in the footsteps of the second-generation Senju Tobarama, trying to recruit or integrate them into Konoha. 
Shisui felt uneasy. He had always viewed Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo through a thick filter of the will of fire. And now, that filter was gone. He couldn't accept it for a while. Li Shang probably understood his feelings. It was like hearing his wife, Ishihara Satomi, getting married in his previous life. He glanced at the charred mountaintop. There were no bandits, no hostages. Li Shang estimated that they had already been dealt with by root. Ninjas trained by Shimura Danzo didn't know mercy. To exaggerate, even egg yolks would be shaken apart. Oh no, Li Shang suddenly said with a serious expression. What's wrong? Shisui immediately shook off his gloomy mood and asked. My first mission failed, Li Shang sighed, I had planned to achieve a 100% completion rate. He was a person with OCD. In his previous life, one of the great joys of playing games was completing the entire collection or collecting all the items. Quote dot 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 quote. Shisui tugged at the corner of his mouth. Was this the time to worry about that? But being disrupted like this inexplicably restored his mood to normal. He looked at Uchiha Itachi. It seemed that Li Shang had talked to him, and now he appeared calm. He didn't lose his composure due to the double targeting of Root and the Anbu. It also saved him a lot of trouble. Shisui returned to the problem at hand and said, I modified the memories of the four Anbu ninjas, so there shouldn't be any problems. But the three Root ninjas are already dead, and it will be difficult for us to explain to Danzo. Li Shang noticed that he had changed the way he referred to Danzo, proving that he was no longer blindly following the will of fire. He smiled and said, Root. What Root ninjas? We didn't see anything. Shisui was slightly taken aback. He quickly understood what Li Shang meant. Danzo would never admit that he had sent Root to assassinate them. If they had succeeded, there wouldn't be a problem, but now that they had failed and Sarutobi Hiruzen knew about it, he would undoubtedly scold them. Danzo was a respectable ninja, and in terms of both emotions and reason, he could only swallow this hidden loss. But the grudge had already been formed. There would be a second time as long as Li Shang was alive, and Danzo would come back. It might be troublesome for you to go on missions in the future, Shisui frowned. Even though he wanted to protect them, it was impossible to do so all the time. Thieves only last a thousand days, there is no way to guard against them for a thousand days. Then let's solve it once and for all, Li Shang said without hesitation. Shisui couldn't help but freeze in expression. Even Uchiha Itachi looked astonished. It was really too sudden. Not long ago, they still respected Danzo very much, but now they were about to kill him. Face reality and prepare for battle. Li Shang said in a deep voice, the Uchiha clan doesn't have much time left. He also had another concern, Uchiha Obito. The original work did not specify when Uchiha Itachi and him met, but it was probably the night of the clan's annihilation. If that's the case, let's move it up three years. Shisui remained silent for a moment, not refusing, and said, this matter needs careful consideration. Donzo's strength has always been a mystery, and the root ninjas are not easy to deal with. If you can convince my father, it might be easier. Uchiha Itachi hesitated for a moment and said, my father actually doesn't approve of the coup. In the original work, Uchiha Fugaku only agreed to rebel because he saw that the situation within the clan was uncontrollable. To put it bluntly, he was a fence-sitter. If Minato didn't die, perhaps his character could have found a way out for the Uchiha clan. But unfortunately, there are no ifs. Now, the clan leader suitable for the Uchiha clan must have a thunderous means, otherwise they won't be able to suppress the emotions within the clan. When the ultimate comes, it will ultimately harm both others and oneself. Uchiha Fugaku gave up resistance on the night of the clan's annihilation because he gave up making a choice between Konoha and the clan, and entrusted the future to Uchiha Itachi. In a sense, Uchiha Itachi was just an unlucky guy. He bore the heavy burden of Uchiha Shisui and Uchiha Fugaku before their deaths. But the problem is that he couldn't do anything about it either and eventually led to his own destruction. Look at Danzo, although he's weak, he dares to take action. By accident, he actually achieved his dream and became Hokage for a few days. How can I convince him? Li Shang complained, aren't you his son? Uchiha Itachi's face showed a rare expression of embarrassment. Because he was his father, he didn't know how to persuade him. I also think this matter is more suitable for you. Shisui took the opportunity to add, 
both your eloquence and knowledge are inferior to mine and Itachi's. I believe even the dead can be persuaded by your words. For a moment, I didn't know if you were praising me or mocking me. Li Shang shook his head helplessly. He didn't have much confidence in persuading Uchiha Fugaku. Because he was old enough and had matured in his values. Countless facts in his past life proved that the most difficult to communicate with are the elders. Of course, I was praising you. Shisui smiled and said, although it's only been a few days, I believe it would be hard to find a ninja of your age who is more outstanding than you. Hey hey, isn't that a bit too exaggerated? With your strength, you can beat 10 of me. But this rainbow fart is really something, I give it a 99 out of 100, deducting one point for fear of making you proud. Li Shang said seriously, I will do my best, but I estimate that when we return, the clan leader will summon us because of the matter with the Konoha police force. That is indeed a problem. Shisui changing the patrol team was just a test for the higher-ups in Konoha, but how should they explain it within the clan? He subconsciously looked at Li Shang, hoping to get a satisfactory answer. Quote dot 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 quote. Li Shang understood his gaze. But he wasn't Doraemon, he couldn't produce a magic pocket. He patted Shisui's shoulder and said, think for yourself when faced with problems. You can't always rely on me. Meaning he couldn't do anything about it. Shisui's face fell a bit, feeling a bit overwhelmed. On the other hand, Uchiha Itachi, for some reason, felt in a good mood when he saw this. At this moment, he had a feeling that they were invincible and could confront the whole world. Whether it was Konoha or the Uchiha clan, it was nothing. If Li Shang knew what he was thinking, he could only tell him, Kid, you're going through your Chunabu phase. Uchiha clan residents. Since the Nine Tails incident, they had moved to the outskirts of Konoha. Far away from the hustle and bustle, only emptiness and silence remained. Father, Sasuke's voice snapped Uchiha Fugaku back to reality. A twisted wave of heat blew past their sleeves. Fire style. Phoenix Flower Claw Red, you're quite skilled in this ninjutsu, Uchiha Fugaku said, looking at Sasuke, whose face had turned pale due to chakra consumption. His tone was calm, but Sasuke immediately showed an excited smile, a flush of excitement appearing on his cheeks. How does it compare to my brother? Sasuke, still unsatisfied, continued to ask. Uchiha Fugaku surveyed the remaining traces of fire and commented, your hand seal speed is almost the same, but your control is worse, resulting in the jutsu's power not reaching its full potential. You still need to continue working hard. Sasuke puffed up his cheeks, his initial excitement fading. Although he had anticipated the result, he preferred to hear an unexpected answer. However, Uchiha Fugaku was extremely poor in terms of education. He didn't understand anything about combining rewards and punishments. In addition, with Uchiha Itachi's brilliance in the forefront, he would unconsciously make comparisons, unintentionally causing harm to Sasuke. Clan leader, accompanied by a cold wind, a young man wearing a green vest appeared. He reported, Tuyuya and Jiro have returned, but the mission was unsuccessful. Uchiha Fugaku was somewhat surprised. He understood Uchiha Itachi and Li Zhang's abilities, so they shouldn't have failed. So, was there some unexpected situation? Whether it was Konoha or just a coincidence, he didn't know. Let Shisui and Jiro come see me, Uchiha Fugaku waved his hand and said to Sasuke, you go find your brother. The obedient five-year-old Sasuke quickly left, leaving behind his immense curiosity to go see his beloved Oni-san. Li Shang and the others received the summons as soon as they entered Konoha. Why is it just me and Jiro? Shisui looked puzzled. I happened to be going to the Hokage's office to report on the mission, Uchiha Itachi said, biting into a tricolored pill. His expression was indifferent, but no matter how you looked at it, there was a sense of schadenfreude. Shisui scratched his head, looking somewhat troubled. He hadn't come up with a good reason yet. Li Shang laughed. It was interesting to see scenes that couldn't be seen in the previous life. Let's go, Li Shang turned and walked towards the Uchiha clan residence. Shisui quickly followed. After a moment, in the quiet courtyard, Uchiha Fugaku heard footsteps and turned to look at the two of them, asking, Jiro, why did your mission fail? Because of Root, Li Shang didn't hide the true reason. Shisui was surprised to hear this. He hadn't been notified in advance. But based on their contact in the past few days, was Uchiha Jiro confident in persuading the clan leader? 
Thinking of this, he immediately fell silent. Uchiha Fugaku's brows furrowed. The answer was within his expectations, but it was also the one he least wanted to hear. Was Danzo really taking such reckless actions to force the Uchiha clan to rebel? Uchiha Fugaku felt increasingly exhausted. Since the relocation of the clan, he hadn't had a good night's sleep for a long time. He had been thinking about how to appease the clan members and how to get through the current difficulties. But it was a dilemma. Not long ago, he came up with the idea of having Uchiha Itachi join the Anbu. One reason was to give the clan a justification. He had already sent his own son into a dangerous situation as an undercover agent. The second reason is to reassure the high-level officials of Konoha. Anbu has always been the direct organization of the Hokage. Uchiha Itachi's inclusion proves that he is unwilling to provoke a war. Of course, Uchiha Fugaku did not expect that Uchiha Itachi would be brainwashed by the will of fire and become a double agent. This matter will be postponed for now. Uchiha Fugaku thought for a moment and said. He is now completely unable to counterattack Danzo. Unless he really wants to rebel. I ask you, what is going on with the Konoha Police Department? Uchiha Fugaku's gaze still fell on Li Shang. Shisui is impossible to behave so strangely. Because he is a qualified ninja, he does not indulge in women. It is impossible to change his personality overnight. It's simple, to reverse the reputation of the Konoha Police Department. Li Shang answered calmly, if you want to become Hokage, you naturally need the recognition of the residents of Konoha. Wait, what does it mean to become Hokage? Uchiha Fugaku's face showed astonishment. This topic changed too quickly, and he didn't react to it. The teacher should know it very well. Li Shang blinked his eyes, becoming Hokage has three procedures, recognition from the daimyo of the fire country, recognition from the residents of Konoha, and voting by Jonin. In fact, Jonin voting can be replaced by the support of major ninja clans. In other words, he is reminding Uchiha Fugaku that a coup will not end well. Because the Uchiha clan has not fulfilled any of the three conditions. It can be said that they are a Hokage with nothing. Uchiha Fugaku being able to become the clan leader shows that his intelligence is up to par. He quickly understood the implied meaning behind Li Zhang's words. I didn't expect that I would be so wrong. Uchiha Fugaku looked deeply at Li Shang. His previous disguise was too perfect. No matter who it was, they would think he was a 10-year-old boy with talent in ninjutsu but only a child in thinking and behavior. Teacher, I am only doing this for the Uchiha clan. Li Shang said sincerely, I have been an orphan since I was young, and the Uchiha clan is the place where I was raised. Now that they are in trouble, it is only natural for me to help. Uchiha Fugaku observed his expression and couldn't help shaking his head. He didn't believe this explanation. And Li Zhang's method is simply a fantasy. The high-level officials of Konoha, or the major ninja clans, do not want the Uchiha clan to have a Hokage. Uchiha Fugaku said in a deep voice. If Uchiha Kagami were still alive, it might be possible. But unfortunately, the disciples of Senju Tobarama killed the Uchiha clan. You can taste it, think about it carefully. The reasons behind this are no longer possible to explore. Who else is there in the Uchiha clan now? Shisui, of course, is famous, but he still cannot win the support of the masses. One reason is his young age. The second reason is that Shisui is too distant from the residents of Konoha. This is also the impression that the Uchiha clan gives people. Arrogant, difficult to approach, and self-isolated. That's right, under normal circumstances, it is indeed impossible. But what if third Hokage supports the Uchiha clan? Li Shang was immediately refuted by Uchiha Fugaku after speaking. How could third Hokage support the Uchiha clan? Unless the first generation and second Hokage are resurrected. Are you a prophet? Li Shang couldn't help but complain. If you live long enough, you can indeed see the resurrection of Senju Hashirama and Senju Tobarama. Teacher, I need your help for this. Li Shang didn't know if Uchiha Fugaku had Mangekio Sharingan like in the TV anime, so he wanted to test it. I have seen in the clan's records that there are even more powerful eyes above the three Tomo Sharingan. As soon as these words came out, both Uchiha Fugaku and Uchiha Shisui were shocked. Shisui has Mangekio Sharingan, but he didn't tell Li Shang, so he was surprised to hear this suddenly. And Uchiha Fugaku was purely shocked. 
there was a sense of astonishment that a secret guarded for many years was suddenly revealed. He does have a pair of Mangekyo Sharingan. Where did you see the ancient texts? Uchiha Fugaku asked after a moment of silence. That's not the point. Li Shang shook his head, thinking to himself, the point is whether you have them or not. I do, Uchiha Fugaku furrowed his brow and said. But he was already wary in his heart. If Li Shang dared to reveal his secret, he wouldn't mind cleaning house. Can you control the third Hokage? I haven't tried, but I should be able to, Uchiha Fugaku understood completely what Li Shang wanted to do. He had thought about staging a coup with his clan members, but he hadn't considered controlling Sarutobi Hirazan. Because although he was indecisive in character, overall he leaned towards Uchiha thinking. That is, using fists to communicate. Looking at the Uchiha clan as a whole, there has never been a ninja skilled in strategy or a qualified politician. Uchiha Madara and Uchiha Obito don't count either, as they were manipulated by Black Zetsu. Uchiha Fugaku couldn't help but ponder the feasibility. This path was bold and innovative. It could be considered an armed coup, but not a complete one. The third Hokage is known as a great ninja. Although he is now facing the natural decline of old age, it won't be easy to take him down, Uchiha Fugaku spoke without reservation. Anyway, their open discussion of a coup at the clan meeting was already public knowledge. Li Shang sensed his concerns and worried about the aftermath of failure. This also matched his character, lacking the audacity to take responsibility and bear the consequences. In a sense, Uchiha Fugaku was an atypical Uchiha. Besides the third Hokage, we also need to pay attention to Danzo, Uchiha Fugaku continued. By the end, he had lost confidence in himself. Li Shang could understand this mentality, just like playing the stock market. Whether to withdraw or jump back and forth, ultimately ending up with a loss. But he didn't say anything. Because he knew there was someone who couldn't hold back anymore. Shisui took a deep breath and said, Shimura Danzo, you don't need to worry, leave it to me. You, Uchiha Fugaku clearly didn't trust Shisui, Danzo is not an ordinary janin. He was the disciple of the second Hokage and Uchiha Kagami's teammate. He may know more about the Sharingan than you. But he doesn't know about the Mangekyo Sharingan, Shisui shook his head and said. Uchiha Fugaku immediately realized something was wrong because he mentioned the Mangekyo Sharingan. This term is something that ordinary Uchiha would never know. Could it be? Uchiha Fugaku's voice trembled. He had a feeling that something extraordinary was happening. Shisui was only 13 years old. Yes, I was fortunate enough to awaken the Mangekyo Sharingan, Shisui calmly replied. Perhaps only he knew the price he had paid to awaken his eyes. Good, very good. Uchiha Fugaku was ecstatic. He couldn't help but lose his composure. He had hidden the Mangekyo Sharingan before because he thought having only one pair would lower the chances of a successful coup. But with a second pair, the odds were more than doubled. Uchiha Fugaku instinctively looked at Uchiha Lang and asked, Do you have it? Show me yours. Do you think it's so easy? If I had it, why would I waste so much breath? I would just launch a direct attack. Li Shang silently criticized in his heart and shook his head. Uchiha Fugaku showed a regretful expression. Uchiha Lang's performance was too extraordinary. In his eyes, he was already on par with Shisui. But only Li Shang himself knew that he was just a wax head with a silver spear. Two pairs are enough, we can act boldly, Uchiha Fugaku's heart swelled with the power of the Mangekyo Sharingan. After abandoning his indecisive personality, he began to fulfill the role of clan leader. The first thing is to hold a clan meeting, where everyone must be united. Uchiha Fugaku was well aware of the current predicament within the Uchiha clan, so he had not made a statement. But now there was a third option, where both the hawks and the doves could unite. Even if some people were unwilling, he dared to deal with them. Li Shang nodded slightly. It seemed that his teacher was not as foolish as he appeared. Indeed, character determines destiny. The second thing is to deal with Danzo and control the third Hokage. Uchiha Fugaku took a deep breath. When he said this, he felt a sense of satisfaction. As the clan leader, he was the one under the most pressure. The third thing is to reverse the Uchiha clan's reputation. Li Shang raised a finger and said, I am good at this, you can leave it to me. 
Uchiha Fugaku immediately thought of the manipulations of the Konoha Police Department and hesitated. But if he were to do it himself, he wouldn't be able to. The Uchiha clan's reputation was truly terrible. And it had been accumulating for several years, especially after the Nine Tails incident. It was almost impossible to reverse it. Finally, Uchiha Fugaku nodded. One week from now, I will gather all the janin of the clan at the Nakahe Shrine for the clan meeting. As the largest shinobi clan, the Uchiha had a considerable number of janin, so it would take some time. After Uchiha Fugaku finished speaking, Li Shang and Shisui left the main house. How did it go? Uchiha Itachi suddenly appeared at the door. He had rushed over immediately after handing over his mission, but seeing them chatting, he didn't interrupt. Sasuke, on the other hand, was fuming. Let's go to Shisui's house. Li Shang suggested, and the three of them hurried to Shisui's living room. The clan leader has agreed to our request. Shisui couldn't wait to say. He had been troubled by this matter for a long time, and finally there was a solution. Although it was completely different from what he had expected, Uchiha Itachi immediately breathed a sigh of relief. He didn't want Konoha to suffer a devastating blow. If it was just sacrificing Shimura Danzo, he didn't mind. Well, Sarutobi Hiruzen was being controlled, not sacrificed. So only a world where Danzo was injured would be completed. After the most difficult part was settled, the three of them felt much more relaxed. Seeing that it was already noon, Shisui ran to the kitchen and said he would cook himself. Li Shang remembered that Uchiha Itachi was good at cooking, but he didn't know about Shisui's skills. But no matter what, it must be better than his. He was a foodie, but couldn't cook. Itachi, there's something I want to tell you. Li Shang remembered something. Uchiha Itachi had actually met Obito before. When he was eight years old, he witnessed his teammate being killed, which triggered his Sharingan. The key to reversing the Uchiha clan's reputation is to find the mastermind behind the Nine Tails incident. Li Shang couldn't directly ask him if he knew about Obito, so he said, so you must pay attention to this. Uchiha Itachi's body trembled, thinking of the masked man he had encountered before. But at this time, he hadn't contacted him like he did on the night of the Uchiha massacre three years later, so he didn't know where Obito was. I will. I'll let you and Shisui know as soon as I have any information. I suddenly had an idea. Li Shang snapped his fingers and said, finding the mastermind is definitely a difficult task. Why don't the three of us establish an organization? Of course, his idea was more than that. Whether this world was virtual or real, he could leave a way out for himself. Uchiha Itachi's eyes lit up at the words. He had just recently felt that the three of them were invincible. An organization undoubtedly suited his preferences. Because being in the same organization meant they had the same goals, the same beliefs, and the same path. Tinbu, let's call it Tinbu. Li Shang stood up, full of passion, and said, We have a fiery will, an unwavering faith. We protect the peace of Konoha, the future of the world. We act on behalf of heaven, and we never close our eyes. After listening, Uchiha Itachi couldn't help but clench his fists. He felt a surge of hot blood rushing to his head, wishing to immediately target Danzo. I'm fired up. Li Shang saw the thick smoke coming from the kitchen and quickly ran in. Shisui coughed while trying to put out the fire. Hey, if you can't handle it, don't mess around. Li Shang didn't know water style, so he could only collect water from the faucet. I was listening to you speak and didn't notice the situation in the pot. It accidentally caught fire. Shisui answered with an embarrassed expression. When Li Shang mentioned Tendo, he raised his voice, allowing him to hear the content. As an idealistic ninja, Tendo's slogan undoubtedly resonated with him. But he didn't expect the situation of the pot exploding. Uchiha Itachi was stunned for a moment, formed hand seals, and a water dragon rose in front of him, instantly extinguishing the flames. Truly a genius, Li Shang gave a thumbs up. Uchiha Itachi possessed chakra of five different attributes. After wiping his face with a towel, Shisui said helplessly, it seems we'll have to eat outside for lunch. Cleaning the kitchen would take time, and it would be too late to eat afterwards. Then let's go to Ichiraku Ramen. Li Shang suggested, it's a perfect way to celebrate the establishment of Tendo. After all, we already have a good start. Shisui scratched his head and smiled awkwardly. After all, 
he was the one who caused the explosion. How about having a feast? Uchiha Itachi felt that ramen was not enough to commemorate the establishment of the organization. Li Shang rubbed his chin. He suggested Ichiraku ramen because their taste was indeed good. As for others, it was a bit of a stretch for him, a glutton from a flower-growing family. Let's have barbecue. Li Shang thought of another acceptable delicacy. As long as there was cumin, the taste wouldn't be too bad. Uchiha Itachi nodded in agreement. As for Shisui, he didn't care about these things. At the barbecue restaurant, after Li Shang placed his order, he noticed two customers not far away. Akamaiki Chuza and Akamichi Choji. Their physical characteristics were too obvious. They are from the Akamaiki clan. Shisui glanced at them and said, Ino Shikacho has always been united and strongly supports the third Hokage. They might have a negative impact on us. They support the Hokage, not Serutobi Hiruzen. Li Shang shook his head and said, Unity brings strength, division brings death. The three of them are all very intelligent ninja. If our Uchiha clan and Hyuga clan cooperate, the higher-ups of Konoha will no longer dare to act against us. Shisui listened and smiled bitterly. If the Uchiha clan could cooperate with other ninja clans, it wouldn't be called the Uchiha clan. Moreover, if Uchiha and Hyuga joined forces, the higher-ups of Konoha would probably have trouble sleeping. Because they might have to move their heads while sleeping. So, are you saying that even if the Uchiha clan becomes Hokage, they will still support us? Uchiha Itachi asked. At least on the surface, it's hard to say in reality. Li Shang smiled and said, but we can bind them through mutual interests. How do we bind them? Uchiha Itachi continued to seek advice. By controlling the economic lifeline of the three clans. Li Shang lowered his voice and talked about his ideas. Ninjas, or ninja villages, are generally not good at making money. Many times, they have to rely on aid from the land of fire. The small Inazuka clan had to engage in side businesses in order to sustain themselves. For example, the Yamanaka clan ran a flower shop, and the Nara clan raised deer. However, due to a lack of proper development, they didn't make much money. It was more like a subsistence economy, where they produced enough to sustain themselves. The biggest expense was undoubtedly the cost of being a ninja. Not to mention the cost of ninja tools and explosive tags, just the physical toll alone was a huge expense. Firstly, it was common for ninjas to get injured, and secondly, physical training was like martial arts, so they definitely needed to take good care of their bodies. Shisui furrowed his brows slightly. What Li Shang was talking about was completely different from what a ninja should be doing. But the benefits were also obvious. He was a bit puzzled as to why no one had thought of this before. If Tendo wants to grow stronger, they will inevitably need to make money. Li Shang concluded, it's difficult to promote it throughout the entire ninja world in the name of Konoha. This is where Tendo comes in. They would never suspect that Uchiha clan is behind Tendo. He had been in this world for 10 years, and he had been thinking about it for 10 years. But Shisui didn't know that he was a time traveler. Compared to me and Itachi, you are the naturally gifted genius. Shisui said with emotion, I really want to know what's going on in your head. Well, it's definitely not tofu. Li Shang shrugged and made a lame joke. But obviously, Shisui and Uchiha Itachi couldn't quite understand. After the barbecue feast, Shisui took Li Zhang's information and went to the Hokage Tower. He wanted to eliminate the vigilance caused by the replacement of the patrol team in the Konoha Police Department, so as not to affect their subsequent plans. Are you saying that the replacement of the patrol team members was just to advertise for a cosmetics company called Tenjinyama? Serutobi Hiruzen glanced at the information in front of him and couldn't help but be taken aback. The concept of advertising existed in the ninja world. But the most common form was about movie stars. You've been a bit reckless with this matter. Serutobi Hiruzen tapped his pipe on the desk. He didn't believe this at all. But since Shisui said so, he couldn't possibly expose it. At least for now, they couldn't turn against each other. Tian Shang Ren Jian promises to pay at least 1 million taels of taxes every month. Hum, Serutobi Hiruzen immediately sat up and asked, is that really what they said? 1 million taels is already the starting price for an S-rank mission. But S-rank missions are not easy, they are extremely dangerous. 
who knows, a few Jonin might even die, resulting in a loss. Yes, Shisui pointed to the table, there is an agreement in that document, Hokage-sama will see it at a glance. Sarutobi Hiruzen immediately flipped through it and indeed, it was as Shisui said. You did well in handling this matter, but next time it's better to communicate with us in advance to avoid any misunderstandings. Although he didn't fully believe it, one million tails was indeed not bad. Shisui immediately lowered his attitude and apologized, I was thoughtless, please forgive me, Hokage-sama. Seeing this, Sarutobi Hiruzen smiled. For a moment, the office became quite harmonious. After Shisui left, Sarutobi Hiruzen immediately ordered the Anbu to investigate the origin of Tian Sheng Renjian. He actually hoped it was true, that way, everything would be a misunderstanding. The next day, advertisements for Tian Sheng Renjian sprouted up all over Konoha like mushrooms after the rain, sincerely inviting everyone to come to the Konoha Police Department for on site observation. The previously embarrassed LSPs suddenly had a legitimate reason to invite their girlfriends or wives to learn makeup. Li Shang used to like browsing the makeup section of a small website in his previous life. Cough cough, it wasn't to get a close look at beautiful women or anything, mainly to learn techniques and improve his eyesight. In this day and age, you can't see a person's true face without removing their makeup. The makeup techniques in the ninja world are quite backward, at most, they would apply lipstick like Tsunade, or the Akatsuki would paint their nails. The advanced makeup techniques and beauty effects brought by Tian Shang Renjian immediately caused a stir in Konoha. But for Li Shang, it was just the first step. But for now, he had to attend the Uchiha clan meeting. A night without stars, this wasn't Li Zhang's first time at the Naka Shrine. He had previously wanted to take a look at the stone monument left by the Sage of Six Paths. But it seemed that he had thought too much. Because he didn't have the qualifications to enter the underground secret room, he could only look at the surface buildings. Originally, he wouldn't have been able to participate this time either. After all, he was just a genin. In the cruel ninja world, genin were nothing more than cannon fodder. They could die at any time before the dawn of the next day. But tonight, Li Shang received Uchiha Fugaku's approval. Shisui, brother, Li Shang ignored the gazes of the people around them. Because the recent popularity of Konoha's police force had also made the Anbu famous. But for some proud Uchiha, this kind of fame was accompanied by humiliation. In their view, gaining fame on the battlefield was the true mark of a man. What's the matter? Shisui asked in a low voice. Although he wasn't used to the gazes of his clan members, he chose to ignore them as well. Because he understood that only Li Shang could save the Uchiha. When the teacher explains it to them later, there will definitely be people who oppose it. Li Shang scanned the people in front of him. All the Uchiha present were Jonin, numbering nearly 50, fully demonstrating the strength of the largest ninja clan. Otherwise, they wouldn't have thought of rebelling. There shouldn't be anyone opposing, right? Shisui truly believed that Li Zhang's method might be the only solution at the moment. Although it was somewhat radical, the Uchiha were always like that. The third Hokage has been in power for decades, so he definitely has his loyal followers. Li Shang understood the power of brainwashing from his past life. For example, certain yellow-skinned and white-hearted individuals. In addition, there were also extreme hawks who only accepted war as a solution. When the time comes, you directly take action and subdue them. Leave the rest to me. Ha, huh, Shisui showed a surprised expression. No one had ever dared to make a move during a clan meeting. Rules are meant to be broken. Li Shang knew what he was thinking. And this is your chance to establish your authority. Otherwise, how can you become the next clan head? Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Shisui was a little confused. He quickly said, I never thought about becoming the clan head. If not you, then who? Li Shang waved his hand and said, you can't expect me. You and Itachi are the same age, and your strength is not yet at its peak. Only you are the most suitable. And he would return to the main world after dealing with the Uchiha massacre night. The talent reward was the most important thing. But the clan head is still in his prime. Shisui worriedly said, if we do this, won't we conflict with him? You don't understand the teacher. Li Shang smiled and said, he has long since stopped wanting to be the clan head. Quote dot 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 quote. Shisui tugged at the corner of his mouth. 
you can actually say something like not wanting to be the clan head. Besides, I'm not asking you to become the clan head right now. Li Shang added, you have to establish yourself as the strongest Uchiha first. Uchiha, or anyone else, has an instinct to admire the strong. Remember in the original story when Shisui died, a bunch of Uchiha went to block the clan head's door and questioned whether Uchiha Itachi killed Shisui. This shows how powerful this image is. Itachi, you're not angry, are you? Li Shang looked at Uchiha Itachi, who was quiet on the other side. No, Uchiha Itachi calmly replied, having Tendo take over the Uchiha clan is a good thing. Originally, Shisui was the most suitable candidate to be the next clan head. Li Shang rubbed his chin. Uchiha Itachi seemed to have a sense of belonging to Tendo. However, it's also good. He originally intended to have Tenma create a new will of fire. And a few days ago, he made it clear in his slogan, to protect Konoha. Just then, the hall fell silent. Uchiha Fugaku walked calmly to the front. He looked at the many Jonin present, and paused in front of Li Shang and the other two. The purpose of gathering everyone here today is to resolve the internal disputes within the clan, Uchiha Fugaku said straightforwardly, causing many people to show surprised expressions. Because regardless of how the hawks and doves argued before, the clan head had never clearly stated which side he supported. Is he planning to reveal his hand now? Some people have already sensed the scent of a storm and sat up straight, becoming tense. After a while, Uchiha Fugaku said in a deep voice, the Uchiha clan has a long history and was already a famous and powerful ninja clan before the founding of Konoha. As the clan head, I cannot allow it to be destroyed under my watch. Therefore, I have decided to make Serutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo understand that the Uchiha clan is not so easily controlled. Well said, the Hawk faction ninjas immediately exclaimed excitedly. Especially the younger ones, who were even more enthusiastic. No one can hold us Uchiha back. Kill them. The position of Hokage should have belonged to the Uchiha long ago. On the other hand, the group of doves and those close to the Hokage had unpleasant expressions and all turned their gaze to Shisui. Although Shisui was young, his strength was formidable, and he was a member of the Anbu. In their eyes, he was already a pillar. Usually, at this time, he would jump out and persuade, but not today. They looked at each other, confused about what had happened. Uchiha Fugaku raised his hand, signaling them to listen to him. But I do not agree with an armed coup or a war against Konoha. The Uchiha clan will undoubtedly suffer heavy losses. So my plan is to kill Shimura Danzo and control Serutobi Hiruzen. I want to know if you agree or disagree with this idea. The hall immediately fell silent. No one expected it to be a compromise. I disagree. A middle-aged man stood up. The Uchiha clan has always been bold and decisive. This behavior is undoubtedly the work of cowards. Only war can wash away the shame of these years. Li Shang clapped for him expressionlessly. It was quite abrupt. Because he was originally a junior and a genin, he should never have been sitting here. But out of respect for the clan head, they didn't make a fuss about it. But now he jumped out to mock, and the middle-aged man was instantly furious. What do you mean, brat? Nothing. Li Shang smiled. If you want war, I'll give you war, Shisui. Shisui disappeared from his seat in an instant. The next moment, the middle-aged man involuntarily flew upwards and had an intimate encounter with the ceiling. There was a choking sound. Shisui's small knife was drawn and pressed against the middle-aged man's neck. The whole process took less than a second. The middle-aged man was subdued. Shisui's use of force also stunned the others. After a moment, another old man became furious and shouted, Shisui, what are you doing? Several other ninjas also stood up. Shisui's Sharingan appeared. The powerful and hurricane-like power of the Sharingan suddenly unfolded. The ninjas who stood up instantly had blank expressions and were already under control. The thick and almost tangible pressure in the air made everyone's faces change dramatically. Everyone had three Tomo Sharingan, so how could yours be so strong? You're only 13, so you couldn't have secretly trained so much. Li Shang stood up and walked to the middle. Suddenly, he thought of a passage. In the Battle of the Valley of the End that year, Uchiha Madara faced Senju Hashirama, and in the end, Uchiha Madara was defeated. At that time, he sat on the back of the Nine Tails, unable to stop crying. 
At that moment, I thought, only by becoming Hokage can we wash away the shame of the past. Now the opportunity is right in front of me, and I must consider if this is the only chance. I believe that the Uchiha can regain their former position of dominance, and Uchiha Madara played a crucial role in this. To rebuild the glory of the Uchiha, we must not shirk our responsibilities. Now that Uchiha Madara is already dead, why do you think you can win this war? Who gave you the courage? Li Shang looked at them calmly and asked, After the failure, the Uchiha will cease to exist. So, who among you wants to be the eternal sinner of the Uchiha? Li Shang stepped forward not to steal Shisui's limelight, because he needed to establish his own image as quickly as possible, so that his subsequent plans could proceed smoothly. If Shisui represents strength, then Li Shang represents strategy. Although it may sound like boasting, after all, when he arrived in the main world, he was just an ordinary high school student. But compared to the Uchiha clan, he can indeed be considered a wise person. However, the Uchiha clan does not like this kind of image, so he brought Shisui along. Shisui's support was enough to dispel most people's doubts. Anyway, the most extreme ones have already been subdued, and the remaining ones still have some sense. When Li Shang mentioned the eternal criminal, no one dared to step forward and take responsibility. Because almost all Uchiha value only two things, besides strength, it is the honor of the clan. It seems that you have not completely lost your sanity. Li Shang smiled, although it may sound inappropriate coming from me, the Uchiha clan is not a place that values seniority and rules. Uchiha Fugaku noticed the gazes directed at him. As the clan leader, there may be people here who do not obey him, but more people are willing to follow his orders. If he said to arrest Li Shang, there would definitely be many people who would execute it. But he also believed that Shisui would not hesitate to stop it. Perhaps Uchiha Itachi should also be included. This genius who made him say, worthy of being my son. Uchiha Fugaku admitted in the previous conversation that he had underestimated Li Shang, but now he wanted to say it again, that he had underestimated him. Both Shisui and Itachi are very opinionated ninjas. Otherwise, they would not have broken free from the constraints of the clan and become close to the lineage of the Hokage. This kind of opinion, even Uchiha Fugaku feels unable to reverse. But Li Shang has achieved such an incredible change in just a few days. If he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, Uchiha Fugaku would find it hard to believe. At this moment, he should have been angry. Whether it's Shisui or Li Shang, they have seriously violated the rules of the Uchiha and disregarded his authority as the clan leader. Uchiha Fugaku remained silent for a moment and said, what Lang said is what I wanted to say. Undoubtedly, he made a decision that violated the ancestors. But for some reason, he felt relieved. If Li Shang were to describe it, it would probably be like getting off work, not having to serve any more. Clan leader, the middle-aged man remained emotionally charged even with Shisui pointing a knife at his head. The rest of the people wisely remained silent. Today's clan meeting was too bizarre. Before figuring things out, there was no need to jump out and experience Shisui's Sharingan. At least none of them felt confident enough to defeat the clan's number one genius. We Uchiha have always been willing to die rather than surrender. Li Shang clapped his hands, and I really admire uncles like you with such character. TCH, the middle-aged man remained unimpressed. Listen to me first. Li Shang completely ignored his attitude and continued to smile. We are all on the same side, fighting and killing is not very pleasant. How about this, let's send the ones who acted today to the Konoha Police Department. Shisui looked at him in surprise. Your punishment is just nonsense. If it were a game, we could report you for giving away kills. Others had similar thoughts. HMPH, you cowardly weakling. Uchiha will eventually be destroyed in your hands. The middle-aged man mocked, saying. He thought he would receive a beating, but this. After all, he's just a ten-year-old kid. Make them use the transformation technique to disguise themselves as beautiful girls and participate in patrols. Li Shang calmly said. If they refuse, Shisui, control them and make them stand naked in front of the Hokage Tower, proclaiming themselves as Uchiha traitors, disloyal to the Uchiha. The hall fell silent instantly. Only a group of stunned ninjas remained. Uchiha Lang, the middle-aged man shouted, You are insulting the Uchiha. You will have to apologize to our ancestors. 
Say one more word, and I'll send you to be a courtesan. Li Shang shrugged and said, I heard that profession makes good money. The middle-aged man's mouth was already open, but upon hearing what he said, he immediately closed it and dared not speak again. His expression was filled with anger and frustration. This intense feeling of humiliation made him want to end his life by running into a knife, if not for Shisui's control. But Li Shang wasn't worried that they would do something drastic. Because the Mangekio Sharingan could give them a suggestion. Clearly, Li Zhang's words completely silenced this group of proud Uchiha. They all wished they could kill him, but no one dared to make a move. No matter who it was, they didn't want to endure the punishment Li Shang mentioned. They would rather die than run naked in front of the Hokage Tower or serve as a courtesan. Uchiha Fugaku felt like he needed a quick-acting heart-saving pill. He couldn't understand how Li Shang came up with such a vicious punishment. Getting old, can't keep up with the thinking of young people. He became even more determined to retire. Anyway, the punishment is clear now, let's talk about the main issue. Li Shang glanced around, and the effect was quite good. The Uchiha clan lacked experience in such strange matters. He had already shown mercy. After all, some internet trolls were even scarier. The first thing is to control the third Hokage, and the biggest obstacle is the Hyuga clan. Li Shang knew very well how Obito's control over the Mizukage was exposed, thereby Akugan can see the traces of the Sharingan. Even my eyes, Shisui couldn't help but ask. We can't take risks. Li Shang shook his head and said. Lang makes a good point. Uchiha Fugaku also joined the discussion and said, the Byakugan of the Hyuga clan does have an advantage in this regard, but convincing them is not a simple matter. I have two backup plans. Li Shang smiled in response. Uchiha Fugaku raised an eyebrow. Many times, he suspected that a thousand-year-old schemer resided in Li Zhang's young body. But he didn't push further. I'll wait for your good news. Li Shang nodded and said, I will have Ten Heavens Invitation invite the third Hokage out, at least not at the Hokage Tower, the more remote the location, the more convenient it is to take action. So it was you who arranged Ten Heavens Invitation. Are you sure the third Hokage won't suspect? He will definitely suspect, but what if we really give him money? Li Shang knew too well how important funds were for the village. The neighboring cage had been forced to become a gold miner. Besides, all he wanted was for Sarutobi Hirazan to be tempted once. As long as he agreed, the control of the Sharingan could be arranged. As for luring Danzo out, it will be even simpler. Li Shang smiled faintly. This guy had too many pots to carry. Just throw one out casually, and he'll take the bait. There's no need to discuss other matters now. We'll talk about them after we capture the Hokage. After Li Shang finished his last sentence, he gave the stage to his teacher. Uchiha Fugaku waved his hand and said, meeting adjourned. After the clan meeting, Shisui escorted several rebellious clan members to the Konoha Police Department. Meanwhile, Li Shang and Uchiha Itachi left the Naka Shrine together. Do you think we can use the Tenkai slogan as the new will of fire? Li Shang asked calmly as they walked under the streetlights. The question caught Itachi off guard. After a moment of contemplation, Itachi replied, yes. In his opinion, the slogan proposed by Tenkai was obviously more grandiose than the original Will of Fire. However, having just a slogan was not enough for an organization. Li Shang pressed his forehead with his fingers, appearing somewhat troubled. There was no one else in the world who could understand what he was agonizing over, because only he knew how to run an organization. Besides a slogan, there were also principles, plans, goals, and strategies. These were all mentioned in the history books of the main world. The situation in Konoha was different, so he couldn't simply copy everything, but the framework had to be established first. Li Shang brought up this matter with Itachi today mainly because he had an idea. He planned to cultivate a successor. After all, he was destined to leave. Even though Shisui was a genius, he couldn't handle everything on his own. Who knows, one day there might be a scenario where he would pass away prematurely like the Battle of Wujong Plains. What do you think of the villagers living in Konoha? Li Shang changed the topic and asked. Itachi was slightly taken aback. He had never really thought about this question. More accurately, he only saw Konoha as a collective concept. We ninjas exist to protect them, Itachi replied. 
I heard that you started thinking from the perspective of the Hokage when you were four years old, but have you ever thought from the perspective of the villagers? Li Shang asked. The villagers, Itachi honestly replied, no. What do you think they want? Li Shang wasn't surprised. Ninjas have their own way of thinking, and Itachi claimed to love Konoha, but when it came to specific villagers, it didn't really matter to him. Peace, Itachi answered without hesitation. But you only got half of it right. Specifically, it should be peace and development, Li Shang said in a deep voice. In times of chaos, these two are undoubtedly the most precious. Itachi's eyes showed signs of contemplation. It was the first time he had come across this perspective. But it was obviously correct. Peace was just the first step. Unfortunately, for some people, peace was already a luxury. As long as we are strong enough, Konoha can achieve these two goals, Itachi confidently said. Strength is just the foundation, Li Shang shook his head, correcting his ninja thinking. If what you said is true, then why would we be needed? Isn't the god of the ninja world, Senju Hashirama, powerful enough? Itachi immediately frowned. Even Uchiha Madara, as strong as he was, couldn't match Senju Hashirama. He, or Shisui, couldn't possibly compare to this god of the ninja world. Lang, what do you mean? Itachi pondered but couldn't come up with an answer, so he turned his head and asked. Because you don't understand the villagers of Konoha, Li Shang didn't look at him but at Konoha, saying, I'll give you a task, integrate into Konoha, compile the information you gather into a research report, and submit it to me. But I'm worried that I won't be able to complete the task due to the villagers, attitude towards the Uchiha clan, Itachi hesitated and asked. People's stereotypes always affect their judgment, Li Shang thought of the pre Obito's corruption, who was quite popular and kind-hearted, try to forget your Uchiha identity. I'll give it a try, Itachi found this matter quite interesting. He also wanted to know the reason why Uchiha Lang had been acting so mysteriously these past few days. See you another day, Li Shang waved his hand and bid farewell to Uchiha Itachi. The next day, Shisui knocked on the door early in the morning. I have arranged the people from last night. Thank you. Seeing that he seemed to have not slept all night, Li Shang couldn't help but say, go home and rest. It's not tiring, Shisui smiled and said, if there's anything else, just leave it to me. This was the truth, he was more excited than tired. Besides, at his age, missing one night of sleep wouldn't affect him at all. Li Shang didn't try to persuade him anymore and said, the fame of ten heavens is already enough. It's time to open a shop in Konoha. Use your connections to buy a piece of land and establish it as soon as possible, then give some money to Konoha. He didn't have many connections or funds himself. After all, he was an orphan. But Shisui was different. He was an Anbu, with great fame and a close friend like Uchiha Itachi. It would be easy for him to do things that Li Shang couldn't. However, there were also things that Li Shang couldn't do. For example, dealing with the Hyuga clan. Compared to the Uchiha's rebelliousness, the Hyuga clan was undoubtedly well behaved and favored by the Hokage. It had to be said that the Hyuga clan understood the principle of not sticking their necks out and causing trouble. Even in the era of Boruto, they lived very comfortably. If he had enough time, Li Shang might make use of the caged bird. The so-called caged bird was a restriction placed on the branch house by the main family to protect the Byakugan from leaking out. But over time, it had become a means for the main family to consolidate their power. Obviously, it was unfair to the branch house. Li Shang could easily cause a lot of trouble with this. But he didn't want to bother with that, so he simply went straight to Hyuga Hiyashi. Hyuga clan leader, my visit is a bit presumptuous. No problem, Hyuga Hiyashi replied expressionlessly. He had already refused to meet, but Li Shang had come in on his own. The situation of the Uchiha clan was not good now, and he didn't want to have much interaction with this Uchiha genius. I am here on behalf of the Uchiha. Li Shang picked up the hot tea on the table and said. You can represent the Uchiha. Hyuga Hiyashi asked in return. He didn't think a 10-year-old kid could represent the Uchiha. Yes, Li Shang said seriously, if you don't believe me, I will have my teacher come and visit in person later, on the condition that we can reach a consensus. Hyuga Hiyashi looked him up and down, but didn't detect any signs of lying. And he didn't think Li Shang would dare to joke with him. 
The Hyuga clan was not weaker than the Uchiha clan. He could definitely make Li Shang pay the price. What consensus, Hokage? Li Shang smiled. As long as the Hyuga clan and the Uchiha clan cooperate, the position of Hokage is within reach. Hyuga Hiyashi's face darkened and he said, The Hyuga clan never participates in such things. The Uchiha wanted to rebel, but the Hyuga clan wasn't stupid. In his opinion, there was no benefit in success or failure. Failure, needless to say, would be the end. Even if they were lucky enough to succeed, he didn't believe that the position of Hokage would fall to the Hyuga clan. In that case, how about remaining neutral? Li Zhang's previous words were just casual remarks. He knew that Hyuga Hiyashi wouldn't agree. Throughout the history of the Hyuga clan, they had always followed one principle. Hyuga Hiyashi had heard of Uchiha Nami's name before, as she was a genius second only to Uchiha Itachi. However, his impression of her wasn't very good after meeting her in person. Because Uchiha Nami didn't follow the rules. The Hyuga clan valued tradition greatly and could be considered the nobility among ninjas, upholding elegance and gentility. But Uchiha Nami gave him a sense of danger and confidence. Although Hyuga Hiyashi didn't have any grand ambitions, his eyes were very sharp. The guy in front of him was clearly full of youthful vigor. Otherwise, he wouldn't have foolishly come to the Hyuga clan and asked them to remain neutral. Hyuga Hiyashi looked at him and said, Why should we remain neutral? Wouldn't it be more advantageous for my Hyuga clan if I inform the Hokage about this? That's not necessarily true. Li Shang picked up the teapot and poured him some water. You must be aware of the Hokage's character. If you report this to him, I bet he wouldn't dare to engage in a full-scale war with the Uchiha clan. Hyuga Hiyashi furrowed his brows slightly, took a sip of tea, and calmly said, Young man, don't be too full of yourself. What the Hokage wants to do, can you really predict it? Hyuga clan leader, why don't we speak frankly? Li Shang sighed, I dare to tell you about the Uchiha clan's rebellion. Don't you dare say a few sincere words. Quote dot 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 quote. Hyuga Hiyashi remained silent for a while and said, I can choose not to inform the Hokage, but you must promise that no matter what happens, it won't affect the Hyuga clan. In his eyes, the Uchiha were a group of abnormal people. He was worried that their desperate struggle would affect the Hyuga clan. To be honest, I don't have high hopes for you. Hyuga Hiyashi shook his head and said, let me give you some advice. Fighting alone won't solve the problem. Your predecessor, Uchiha Madara, has already proven this. I will learn from your teachings. Li Shang stood up and stopped at the door, saying, then let me give a piece of advice to the Hyuga clan leader. Weakness and concession will only allow others to cross the line again and again. He originally intended to provoke Hyuga Hiyashi with the matter of Hyuga Hazashi. But since things were going so smoothly, he didn't want to engage in a mutually destructive act. In his previous life, Li Shang couldn't understand Konoha's actions. It all started when the Cloud Shinobi wanted to kidnap Hanada and was killed, and then they demanded that Konoha hand over Hyuga Hiyashi. As a result, Hayuga Hazashi died in place of his brother. The plot was truly outrageous. The reason given in the original work was to avoid the Cloud Shinobi village provoking a war. Come on, if they really wanted to fight, after handing over the fake Hayuga Hiyashi, the Cloud Shinobi village would have enough reason. Not to mention how the Cloud Shinobi infiltrated the Byakugan wielding Hayuga clan, but why would they hand over the clan leader just because someone asked? How would other clan leaders think about this? Wouldn't they feel cold-hearted? And once a precedent was set, the Cloud Shinobi village or Iwagakur could come a few more times. To be able to kill the clan leader without shedding blood, it was impossible to find such a good thing even if you searched with a lantern. Li Shang could only say that the will of fire was truly the number one genjutsu in the ninja world. Anything that couldn't be explained could be attributed to the will of fire, and everyone would be happy. Even Obito, because he remembered the will of fire at the end of his life, was forgiven by Uzumaki Naruto. After leaving the Hyuga mansion, Li Shang informed Uchiha Fugaku and Shisui about the news. Uchiha Fugaku avoided the eyes and ears of the Anbuan route, paid a visit, and made a verbal alliance with Hyuga Hiyashi. Although it didn't have any practical significance, it was a good ceremony for both sides. A week passed quickly. Hokage's office. 
Sarutobi Hiruzen showed a surprised expression and asked, Kakashi, can cosmetics really make so much money? Kakashi was still an Anbu ninja at this time. He had just brought the tax amount collected from Tenjinya. It amounted to 3 million Ryo. The problem was that they had only been open for a week this month. Are you sure they're not bribing us? Or do they have a favor to ask of us? Sarutobi Hiruzen took a puff of his cigarette and asked for clarification. Their ability to make money is so impressive, it's making me envious. At this moment, he suddenly had a thought that being a ninja is really boring. No matter how hard they work, they can't earn much money. Kakashi shook his head. He, or rather, ninjas, rarely understand those books filled with numbers. There's a saying, anything can deceive you, but numbers won't. Because they just won't. Although Li Shang thought this metaphor was a bit inappropriate, considering there are many skilled fraudsters in accounting. How is the investigation of Tenjinyama going? Sarutobi Hiruzen changed the subject, not wanting to trouble Kakashi. They had previously conducted an investigation. Tenjinyama is a branch of the Hanako Trading Company in the Fire Country, and its origins are very normal. But this result was obviously not what Sarutobi Hiruzen wanted, so he instructed the Anbu to continue their investigation. I have contacted the Anbu in the metropolis, and they said it's Hanako Trading Company's strategy this year to open branches in various ninja villages to serve female ninjas, and we Konoha are the first. So, it seems that I misunderstood. Sarutobi Hiruzen pondered for a moment, exhaled a puff of smoke, and said, Kakashi, let's leave it at that for now. There's one more thing. Kakashi quickly took out an invitation and said, the person in charge of Tenjinyama wants to invite you for a meeting at their store. Oh, Sarutobi Hiruzen narrowed his eyes, his intuition telling him that something was not right. Because in general, it's others who come to visit him, not the other way around. After all, he is the Hokage representing the highest authority of Konoha. What's the reason? Sarutobi Hiruzen casually glanced at the invitation, which was full of formalities and didn't mention the real reason. At my age, I don't want to be moving around. Kakashi immediately understood his meaning and said, they hope you can advertise for Tenjinyama. Advertising. Sarutobi Hiruzen was a bit surprised. But it made sense. If Tenjinyama can have Uchiha advertise for them, then naturally they can have him advertise as well. No wonder it's three million. Sarutobi Hiruzen smiled and picked up the invitation again, asking, Kakashi, do you think I should accept their invitation? It's entirely up to you. Kakashi calmly replied. At this moment, he was in a stage of closing off his heart and burying his love, not one to speak or smile easily. No need. Sarutobi Hiruzen threw down the invitation and said, tell them I decline. Yes, Kakashi nodded and said, I'll have the carriage they prepared turn around. Sarutobi Hiruzen raised an eyebrow and couldn't help but laugh, they are well prepared, they even have a carriage ready. They said it was prepared according to the standards of a daimyo. Kakashi thought for a moment and added. Sarutobi Hiruzen's gaze froze, and he slowly picked up his pipe and took a breath. Since they've given me this much face, I can't refuse. He called out to Kakashi, from now on, Tenjinyama will also be a part of Konoha, and for the sake of both sentiment and reason, I should accept their invitation. Sarutobi Hiruzen walked out of the gate and saw the convoy prepared by Tenjinyama. It filled half of the street. He estimated it to be 10 meters long, luxurious and grand. The front carriage was even more extravagant, adorned with various jewelry and gold, exuding an air of wealth. Sarutobi Hiruzen could guarantee that even the carriages of daimyos were not as extravagant. But why an open-top carriage? Because of the exaggerated convoy, there were many onlookers on both sides of the street. If Sarutobi Hiruzen remembered correctly, Tenjinyama's shop was located in the southern part of Konoha. In other words, he needed to ride the carriage through most of Konoha. This is a perfect advertising effect. What is the person in charge of Tenjinyama called? Sarutobi Hiruzen became somewhat interested. Nagata Hotaru. Oh, is it a woman? Yes, indeed, not bad. Sarutobi Hiruzen nodded and boarded the carriage. The interior of the carriage was spacious, and there were two graceful girls wearing chongsongs. He couldn't help but be taken aback. This arrangement is really, spot on. But the gazes of the two girls always felt a bit strange. Sarutobi Hiruzen didn't think much of it, just assuming that they were nervous. 
After all, he was a big shot. At this moment, in Tenjinyama, Li Shang yawned out of boredom. Do you think the third Hokage will agree to our request? Shisui, who was beside him, was clearly not as calm as Li Shang. He was somewhat restless. Although he had been influenced by Li Shang in the past few days and had made up his mind, facing Sarutobi Hiruzen, whom he had once admired, he still felt a sense of betrayal. It can only be said that it's his personality. Shisui asked Li Shang, but Uchiha Fugaku spoke first. Even if he doesn't agree, it doesn't matter. We have two pairs of Mangekyo Sharingan. It would be easy to storm the Hokage Tower. Although that's true, this method is undoubtedly the least risky. Shisui took a deep breath, stood up, and looked out the window, suddenly startled. It seems that the third Hokage has already agreed to our invitation. A knock on the door sounded. An Uchiha wearing a Konoha police force uniform came in and reported, the third Hokage is coming here in an open-top carriage. Uchiha Fugaku waved his hand, and the Uchiha immediately left. That's good news, Li Shang smiled and said, Shisui, you will impersonate Nagata Hotaru and take control of the Hokage, while the teacher and I will deal with the accompanying Anbu. How about I do it alone? Uchiha Fugaku looked at Li Shang and said, This is Konoha. The third Hokage won't be too vigilant. At most, there will be one or two squads of Anbu. It's nothing to worry about. He was worried about Li Shang encountering problems. In his opinion, anyone from the Uchiha clan could encounter problems, except for him. Like a giant, Li Shang represented the head, symbolizing wisdom. It's okay, I can handle the Anbu ninjas, and besides, the teacher is here, right? Maybe I won't even have a chance to make a move. Li Shang didn't care about his own safety at all. What he wanted was a sense of participation. In this way, he could receive a higher evaluation when the simulator settled. Uchiha Fugaku thought for a moment, and indeed, this made sense. His Mangekyo Sharingan could instantly put all the Anbu ninjas under Genjutsu. The room fell silent again. After about ten minutes, the sound of gongs and drums came from outside the door. Amidst the lively atmosphere, the advertisement jingle of Tenjinyama could still be clearly heard. For all members of our store, if you bring your friends and family to register as members, regardless of how much you buy in one go, there is a chance to get it for free and receive cash rewards. The more people, the higher the chance, and it can even reach 100%. Li Zhang's most hated thing in his past life was being stabbed by someone named Shi Shi. It has to be said that this thing is indeed powerful, so he arranged it in the mortal world. Of course, he has a conscience and won't let it happen that tens of thousands of people can't finish it. Here it comes, get ready. Li Shang leapt and jumped onto the roof beam. Uchiha Fugaku activated the Mangekyo Sharingan, hiding their figures. Shisui used the transformation technique to transform into a woman in her thirties. He opened the door, bowed deeply, and said, Hokage-sama, thank you on behalf of the mortal world for gracing us with your presence. You're welcome, Sarutobi Hiruzen looked him up and down and smiled, since the mortal world can contribute to Konoha, this small matter is nothing to worry about. After some small talk, they both took their seats. Today, inviting me in such a grand manner, it shouldn't just be for advertising, right? Sarutobi Hiruzen asked with a smile. There is something to discuss. Shisui also smiled and said, Please, Hokage-sama, you must agree. What is it? Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at him and asked. With his personality, he definitely wanted to know the specific content first before considering whether to agree or not. It only requires a word from you. Shisui met his gaze, and in the next instant, the Mangekyo Sharingan appeared. Because he was worried that Sarutobi Hiruzen would break free. He started with distinguished heavenly gods. Shisui's two eyes were both distinguished heavenly gods, with slightly different effects. Although the cooldown time was long, he didn't think it was a waste to use it on Sarutobi Hiruzen once. Kakashi, who was hidden, suddenly startled. He was too familiar with this power. After all, he was the rare Sharingan user who was not from the Uchiha clan. It came from his dear friend Obito's eyes. Hokage-sama. Kakashi immediately appeared in front of Serutobi Hiruzen, but there was no response. Sensei, wait, leave this person to me. Li Shang also appeared. It's you, Uchiha Lang. 
Kakashi grabbed his famous Konoha's white fang tooth short sword and questioned, do you want to rebel? The screams of his teammates came from his ears. He only glanced at them with the corner of his eye and felt as if his heart had turned to ashes. It was Uchiha Fugaku. No matter how stupid he was, he should understand that this was indeed a rebellion. Hokage-sama. Kakashi raised his voice again. His only hope was third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan. Because in his mind, his Hokage was invincible. In the original work, Orochimaru fought with Serutobi Hirazan, and Kakashi had once stopped Might Guy from wanting to help. After ruling out the conspiracy theory that Kakashi wanted the third generation to die, there was only one reason left, he believed that Serutobi Hirazan could defeat Orochimaru. He won't answer you. Li Shang knew the power of distinguished heavenly gods very well. Because it was too outrageous, it was forcibly banned by Kishimoto. One was ruined by Danzo, and the other was used by Uchiha Itachi to deal with his stupid Aududo. What have you done? Kakashi looked incredulous. How could his invincible Hokage lose? And lose so completely without making a sound? Kakashi, let's put aside the Hokage for now and talk about your situation. Li Shang looked at him and said, You are also considered half an Uchiha, so I'll give you a chance. We have nothing to talk about. Kakashi directly rejected Li Zhang's voice invitation. He lowered his eye mask and used the Sharingan to check on Serutobi Hirazan's condition. But it was destined to be in vain. Kakashi, do you know how you managed to keep your Sharingan? After waiting for a moment, Li Shang asked. It was my teacher, the fourth Hokage. Kakashi's gaze shifted to Li Shang. He had given up on unraveling the eye technique used on Serutobi Hirazan. The fourth Hokage went to great lengths for you as his disciple. Li Shang sighed and shook his head. He resisted the pressure from the entire Uchiha clan for your sake, and not just that, right? What do you mean? Kakashi furrowed his brow. Li Zhang's attitude made him feel somewhat puzzled. He naturally knew everything his teacher had done for him. Because of the accidental killing of Rin, he had been plagued by guilt. And Minato had him join the Anbu, change his environment, and serve as Kashina's guard, hoping that he could witness the birth of new life and escape the darkness. It should be noted that Kashina was the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, and her pregnancy was when she was most vulnerable. Kakashi being able to serve as her guard relied on Minato's guarantee. But what about you? How have you repaid the fourth Hokage? Li Shang pointed outside. You should be well aware of Uzumaki Naruto's situation. He is alone and misunderstood by the villagers, who mistake him for the nine-tailed fox. For a five-year-old child, his situation is worse than yours. That's because, Hokage-sama, Kakashi tried to explain. The orphan of a hero is treated unfairly, and yet you dare not do anything. Li Shang interrupted him with disappointment. When the fourth Hokage sent you to the Anbu, it wasn't to make you obedient machine. Have you reached a point where you can't distinguish right from wrong? Kakashi fell silent. The short sword in his hand clattered to the ground. Your life was given to you by Minato. Li Shang picked up the short sword from the ground and handed it to him. If you truly have a conscience, leave the Anbu and from today onwards, support Uzumaki Naruto. He will be starting school next year, and you can teach him. After all, he is the fourth generation's son. He shouldn't be worse off than others. Kakashi held onto the short sword and looked at the ten-year-old boy in front of him, feeling a bit embarrassed. In these years, he had truly lived like a dog. His own experiences were certainly tragic, but what about his teachers and Naruto's? Weren't they also tragic? His teacher had tried to save him back then, and he had the opportunity to save Naruto, but he had delayed it for five years. Thank you. Kakashi put away the short sword and felt a bit dazed at the moment, but he chose to follow his heart and said, I'll go find Naruto. As for the Hokage, he didn't want to deal with it anymore, and he couldn't deal with it either. Rather than leaving his life here, it would be better to use it to repay his teacher. If Minato and Kashina were to hear what you just said, they would be very happy. Uchiha Fugaku glanced at him in praise. His wife, Makoto, and Kashina were best friends, and their relationship was very good. This was also why Li Shang said that if Uchiha Fugaku had saved Minato during the Nine Tails incident, the outcome would have been completely different. It's nothing. It would be beneficial for us to bring Uzumaki Naruto, the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, to our side. 
Li Shang casually gave a reason and looked at Shisui, asking, how is it? It'll be ready soon, Shisui replied when he had a moment. What should we do next to eliminate Danzo? Waiting is boring, Uchiha Fugaku spoke up again. The Uchiha clan harbored deep hatred towards Danzo, with no good feelings whatsoever. Almost all of the oppression they faced came from him and his root. If they could get rid of him, Li Shang and Uchiha Fugaku would definitely increase their prestige within the Uchiha clan. The so-called internal harmony within the clan relied entirely on Danzo. I was thinking of finding an excuse to lure him out before, but now I have a better plan. A smile appeared on Li Zhang's face. We can kill him openly and gain the support of the people. Is that even possible? Uchiha Fugaku asked instinctively. After all, they were members of the Uchiha clan. Their reputation in Konoha was worse than that of dogs. Danzo has offended too many people. Li Shang snapped his fingers and said, so the first thing we'll do after taking control of the Hokage is to convene a clan leader meeting. Uchiha Fugaku had some vague ideas, but he still couldn't figure out the specifics of how to proceed. He looked at Li Shang, who was brimming with confidence and assured victory, and couldn't help but sigh that he was getting too old and should pass the stage to the younger generation. I have replaced his common sense. Shisui closed his Mangekio Sharingan and said. Li Shang listened to these words and found them strangely familiar. It was something that often appeared in hypnosis novels. Unfortunately, it wasn't a beautiful girl, but an old man. Ahem, Li Shang said, in that case, let him issue the notice and hold the meeting tomorrow. Shisui nodded. Soon, Sarutobi Hirazin regained consciousness. He looked at the three Uchiha in front of him and said, I have obtained evidence of Donzo's crimes and will announce it at tomorrow's meeting. I hope that the Konoha Police Department will fulfill its duties. Please rest assured, the Konoha Police Department has always carried out its duties impartially. Uchiha Fugaku suppressed his excitement and replied. The Konoha Police Department had not exercised its true power for a long time. It had been suppressed in various ways and now only functioned as a municipal management department. Sarutobi Hirazan smiled with relief and said, Danzo and Root have been operating for a long time and have immense power. Only your police department has the courage to do this. Li Shang glanced at Shisui upon hearing this. Why didn't the replacement of common sense include the ability to replace this polite conversation? The order was quickly issued through the Anbu. Li Shang took a moment to look at Uzumaki Naruto. As an optimist, he readily accepted the sudden appearance of Kakashi without much thought. He was always a lonely child. In the beginning of the original story, he often used pranks to attract attention. Now that there was a Kakashi, he naturally felt happy. Li Shang returned to the clan territory and heard someone calling him. Brother Lang, little Sasuke ran happily to him and asked, Why haven't I seen you in the past few days? Not only Uchiha Lang, but also his father and older brother had all disappeared, making him feel lonely. There's just too much going on. Li Shang rubbed his little head and asked, Do you want me to teach you ninjutsu again? Yes, yes, yes. Sasuke's eyes lit up with anticipation. He was overjoyed when Uchiha Fugaku praised him last time. I don't have much time recently, but I can introduce you to a teacher. Li Shang thought of Kakashi. Sasuke's talent in lightning style was stronger than fire style. He could even create an S-rank lightning style ninjutsu, Kirin, which was known as the ultimate lightning style. In fact, it could be seen from the original story that Kakashi leaned more towards Sasuke because he believed that Sasuke could inherit his lightning style legacy. Uzumaki Naruto, on the other hand, belonged to a different system and was not good at it. If I remember correctly, you'll be entering the academy next year, right? Li Shang asked as he walked. Yes. How about I give you a task? What task? Sasuke's eyes immediately lit up. He loved playing ninja games with Uchiha Itachi. Itachi was the first in his class last semester. I'm definitely going to be the first too. Sasuke interrupted Li Shang before he could finish. Li Shang wasn't angry and smiled, but being the first alone won't surpass your brother. But I have a way to make Itachi admit that he's not better than you. Really? Sasuke jumped up and grabbed Li Zhang's arm, saying, Brother Lang, tell me quickly. With your talent, it shouldn't be difficult to become the first in your class. Li Shang said with a smile, but becoming the leader among the students is not easy. 
If you can make all these outstanding students follow you, naturally you will surpass Itachi. Because he didn't accomplish this, Sasuke's class had the so-called Konoha 12, who almost wiped out all the heirs of the major ninja clans in Konoha. If he could really complete this task, he could practice how to become Hokage in advance. Chapter 21 In the original work, Commander Joe's personality was quite terrible, but the reason behind it was the annihilation of his clan. But now, his parents are alive, and he has a gentle older brother. Aside from being a bit arrogant like an Uchiha, he doesn't have any other flaws in his personality. When Li Shang explained that surpassing Uchiha Itachi was possible, Sasuke became as excited and confident as if he had been injected with chicken blood. At this young age, he wouldn't consider too much or understand the difficulties involved. Li Shang didn't explain much either, knowing that he would find out next year that things weren't that simple. Naruto, don't rush the chakra refinement. Kakashi was explaining basic knowledge when he noticed Li Shang and Sasuke, so he stopped and greeted them. Let me introduce you, Uchiha Sasuke. Li Shang pointed at Sasuke and said. Oh, I know, he's the younger brother of the genius Uchiha Itachi. Kakashi's face showed a sudden realization. Although Uchiha Itachi hadn't joined the Anbu yet, his reputation was already well known. Sasuke looked at Kakashi. White hair and a mask covering his eyes, he really looked strange. Kakashi didn't know that Sasuke had labeled him as strange, so he continued to introduce Uzumaki Naruto. Hello, I'm Uzumaki Naruto. Uzumaki Naruto reached out his hand. Although he appeared carefree, he was actually very attentive. Sasuke gave him a different feeling. Among his peers, Naruto was the second person Sasuke had met with such unaffected eyes. The first time was that girl with the Byakugan. The one who ended up beating him. Sasuke looked left and right and realized that Naruto seemed to want to shake hands with him, not Li Shang. Sasuke. Li Shang raised his head and said, he's the same age as you. Maybe you'll be classmates next year. Sasuke immediately remembered the mission he had given him, so he held Naruto's small hand and said, behave well in the future, and I might consider making you my little brother. Work hard. Naruto's face showed a surprised expression as he asked, aren't you afraid of me? Just you, Sasuke sneered, I can handle you with just one finger. You're far from making me afraid. Don't be too full of yourself. Li Shang patted his head, what if he surpasses you? That's impossible, Sasuke answered with exceptional confidence. Li Shang looked at him as if he were a general on a stage, full of flags. But Naruto didn't mind. He looked at Sasuke with a smile, clearly very happy. Kakashi, I brought him here for something. Li Shang returned to the main topic, I've been busy lately, and Sasuke needs a teacher. He's very talented in fire style and lightning style, and after thinking it over, you're the most suitable in all of Konoha. Kakashi was clearly surprised. He quickly waved his hand and said, you really think highly of me. His brother alone wouldn't be worse than me. You know, he doesn't have time. Li Shang gave him a meaningful look. Kakashi thought about what had happened today and understood what he meant. I'll do my best to teach him. Thank you. Li Shang patted Sasuke's head and said, call him sensei. I haven't decided yet. Sasuke puffed up his cheeks and said, let's see if he's capable. Kakashi couldn't help but laugh at his reaction. This guy is really cute. And his personality reminds him a bit of Obito. It seems like I'll have to show you. The first technician of Konoha isn't just a name. Kakashi raised his right hand. In the next moment, lightning flickered, and countless bird cries filled the air. Sasuke couldn't help but widen his eyes. So strong, and so cool. If he were to demonstrate this to his father and brother, they would definitely be amazed. Sensei, I want to learn this. Sasuke immediately betrayed his previous statement. Li Shang shook his head and bid them farewell. He didn't lie, he really had a lot of things to do. Tian Shang Ren Jian has already entered the right track. In the beginning, he went to the fire country because he was attracted by the name of the Pinru Business Association and made a deal with their boss. Li Shang became their consultant, guiding them in their development direction. Of course, in return, he wanted a 30% profit. He wasn't afraid of them going back on their word. In this ninja world, strength is ultimately respected. When the time comes, not only will he not give them 70%,
he won't even give them 10%. But fortunately, the Pinru Business Association has always been very obedient and well-behaved. Previously, he didn't have the opportunity to go to the fire country's metropolis to get money. Now that they have come over, it's much more convenient. He plans to make a ring for each member of the Tendo, using the material of chakra weapons. This thing is relatively expensive, but there are advantages to its high price, it is very sturdy and basically won't get damaged. In addition to this, he wants to start a second company. The positioning will be media and entertainment. There are TVs and movies in the ninja world, but there has never been a media conglomerate. What Li Shang wants to do is to make money and control public opinion, or in other words, have the power of speech. In his previous life, he deeply understood the terrifying nature of public opinion, real killing without blinking. The next day, Li Shang was awakened by Shisui again. Itachi, you're back. He opened the door and saw Uchiha Itachi, who had been missing for over a week. This is my report on the Leaf Village inspection. Uchiha Itachi took out a thick stack of documents. Li Shang estimated that it was about 10 centimeters thick. He tugged at the corner of his mouth. Isn't this a bit too much? After dealing with Donzo's affairs, we can discuss it in detail. Li Shang put away the documents and said, let's go to the Hokage Tower. After a while, they arrived at the conference room. Dozens of pairs of eyes turned towards them. Most of them were clan heads, except for the three of them. I invited them to come. Sarutobi Hirazan raised his hand and said, Now that everyone is here, the meeting can officially begin. Hokage-sama, are we missing two Hokage advisors? It doesn't matter. Sarutobi Hirazan smiled indifferently, I didn't ask them to come. As smart as Nara Shikaku, as the Hokage's strategist and Shikamaru's father, he was always very keen. Don't speak out of turn. Nara Shikaku reminded his two companions, Akamichi Choza and Yamanaka Inoichi, who were on his left and right. The three families, Ino Shikacho, always helped each other. The only reason I called everyone here is for one thing. Sarutobi Hirazan's face turned serious, root in its leader, Shimura Danzo. Many people looked at each other when they heard this name. Even if they were stupid, they had a sense of foreboding at this moment. Hayuga Hiyashi suddenly raised his hand to cover his right eye. Byakugan activated. His body trembled. Sarutobi Hirazan still had traces of the Sharingan. Thinking of his conversation with Li Shang, he couldn't help but be astonished. The Uchiha clan's Sharingan was indeed powerful, but it couldn't possibly control Sarutobi Hirazan. After all, this Hokage's strength could rank in the top three in Konoha, maybe even the first. Shimura Danzo guilty of heinous crimes, deserves to die. Sarutobi Hirazan's voice was imposing, R.O., it's your turn to read out his deeds. The conference room fell silent. They suspected that their ears were playing tricks on them. Although Sarutobi Hirazan and Shimura Danzo had friction between them, everyone knew that they had a close relationship. What's going on now? Under the shocked expressions of Nara Shikaku and others, Li Shang walked to the front and took out a scroll. After months of investigation by the Konoha Police Department, we have finally obtained a series of incriminating evidence against Root and Shimura Danzo, fulfilling the expectations of Hokage-sama, Li Shang said, imitating Serutobi Hirazan's polite opening remarks while shifting blame. Uchiha attacked Danzo only because it was ordered by Hokage. This is not a personal vendetta. Obviously, the clan heads were skeptical upon hearing this statement. But being able to become clan heads, they were all intelligent enough. Today's situation was beyond their control, so they decided to remain silent and be serious listeners. However, as Li Shang recited Donzo's ten crimes, their expressions became increasingly shocked. Just the first one alone could be considered a capital offense. Illegally researching wood style with Orochimaru, resulting in the deaths of sixty infants. Li Shang had a small doubt from his previous life. If Serutobi Hirazan considered Orochimaru a rogue ninja because of his wood-style experiments, why didn't he deal with Danzo? Didn't he know? Even if he didn't know before, he should have understood after seeing Yamato. So, Serutobi Hirazan completely failed to practice what he preached. His verbal commitment to the will of fire sounded good, but in reality, he deviated from it. The second charge was from five years ago, the night of the Nine Tails. 
Danzo and Root imprisoned the Uchiha clan without any evidence, causing them to lose the best opportunity to rescue 4th Hokage Namikaze Minato. Hayuga Hiyashi and the others didn't know how to react. The clan heads present had all experienced the chaos caused by the Nine Tails and had heard about this incident. But now, as Li Shang spoke, they began to understand. Because of the imprisonment of the Uchiha, neither Root nor Danzo participated in the rescue. If this hadn't happened, the fourth Hokage could have received assistance from Root and the Uchiha, and perhaps he wouldn't have died. Thinking about this, many of them felt regret. It was such a waste for a ninja like the fourth Hokage to die. The remaining charges were somewhat more normal. They were about the experiments conducted by Root in recent years, all of which were prohibited by Konoha. For ordinary ninjas, even one charge would be a capital offense. But Danzo had participated in all of them. In the end, the dozen or so clan heads in the meeting room reached a consensus that Danzo was indeed not worth sparing. As Jonin, they had also killed many people, but they were all enemy ninjas. They wouldn't kill innocent people, let alone infants. Only extremely wicked people would harm infants. The tenth and final charge, Li Shang looked up at the three clan heads of Ino Shikacho, and seeing their inexplicable expressions, he said, Danzo's harm to the genius ninjas of each clan. Once this statement was made, the meeting room fell silent again. It was well known that joining Root depended entirely on Donzo's selection. And his criteria naturally focused on talent. Almost all young ninja with talent came from the major ninja clans. There weren't many commoners. This was also normal. The ninja clans possessed excellent legacies, such as secret techniques and bloodline limits, which were difficult for common ninja to attain. From the current situation in Root, it could be seen that the capable ones mostly came from the Yamanaka clan, Abarame clan, Nara clan, and so on. The Hayuga clan escaped because of the caged bird. As for the Uchiha clan, Danzo wanted them, but Hokage didn't allow it, so he couldn't force it. Ahem, a certain green-skinned, tight-suited weirdo volunteered to join but was rejected by Danzo. It's not that guy's strength was insufficient, after all, he almost kicked off the grand finale. It was his personality that even Danzo was afraid of. If he joined Root, it wouldn't take long for the style to become very strange. Except for the Hayuga and Uchiha clans, the other ninja clans had no way to refuse Danzo and Root. But to join the Root, one must undergo terrifying training and brainwashing. This has also created a situation where they only know Danzo, but not their own clan. It's like hitting a dog with a meat bun, once gone, never to return. Moreover, Danzo only targets the top talents of their ninja clan, and the mortality rate is also the highest. The clan leaders have long been dissatisfied with Danzo's domineering behavior, but they dare not speak up. Li Shang couldn't help but smile. Although many people hide it well, he still perceives their true emotions that appear instantly. Disgust, dissatisfaction, and helplessness. Because in the past, Danzo not only had the root, but also had the secret support of Sarutobi Hiruzen. Unless they want to rebel, they can only reluctantly send out their own talents. This kind of reaction is exactly what Li Shang wants. The Uchiha clan's reputation is not good, but Danzo's is even worse. There is a saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Now that the Uchiha clan wants to kill Danzo and disband the root, they will inevitably have to bear the consequences. Hokage-sama. Li Shang rolled up the scroll, bowed slightly, and said, Shimura Danzo and the Root have seriously violated the rules of Konoha and the principles of a ninja. As a member of the Konoha police force, please allow us to fulfill our duties, strike down the criminals, maintain the safety of the villagers, and bring prosperity to Konoha. This speech was righteous and flawless. Uchiha Fugaku remembered what he said yesterday, and when he compared it, he felt completely inferior. He is truly a born conspirator. Permission granted. Serutobi Hiruzen took out his hand order and handed it to Uchiha Fugaku, saying, I trouble the Konoha police force to handle this matter. Wait, Hokage-sama, I have a suggestion. Li Shang raised his hand and said, Most of the members of the route were coerced by Danzo and can only be considered as accomplices. I hope that the clan leaders can take them back and educate them properly. If they can reform in the future, it would be a good thing. Nara Shikaku's eyes lit up. With his intelligence, he naturally understood the implied meaning behind Li Zhang's words. 
but he had to show his gratitude. Hokage-sama, I think what Lang said is right. I hope we can give them a chance. After Nara Shikaku, Yamanaka Inoichi, Akamichi Choza, and others also stood up and agreed. Since everyone says so, then leave this matter to you to resolve. Sarutobi Hiruzen smiled and said. After the meeting, the clan leaders returned home to gather their forces. Although the main target was the Uchiha clan, since they were accepting the talents from within the clan, they couldn't just sit idle. At the very least, they should act as cheerleaders and provide support. Under normal circumstances, they wouldn't dare to do so. But now, Danzo and the Root are like meat on a chopping board, waiting to be slaughtered. No matter how powerful they are, they can't be a match for the entire Konoha. Lang, Shisui said with admiration, you are truly a genius. With just one meeting, all the ninja clans stood on the side of the Uchiha clan. It's truly a brilliant move. They are not helping the Uchiha, but helping their own interests. Li Shang understood this clearly. To change the Uchiha clan's reputation, a single meeting is far from enough. But it's already very impressive. Uchiha Itachi also praised, unmatched among peers. Hey, when did you learn to flatter? Li Shang waved his hand, let's hurry and take action, so that Danzo doesn't get wind of it and run away. During the clan leader meeting convened by Sarutobi Hiruzen, Danzo had already received intelligence. Root, an organization with a more brutal system than the Anbu. Under this immense pressure, Root became the strongest institution in Konoha. What Serutobi Hiruzen didn't know, he knew. The people Serutobi Hiruzen didn't dare to kill, he dared to kill. This is him, the Root of Konoha, Shimura Danzo. The clan leader meeting, it could be big or small. Danzo had already gotten used to Serutobi Hiruzen not inviting him to the meetings. These little tricks meant nothing to him, as he would find out the specific contents after the meeting ended. Today feels slower than usual, is it because there's more content in the meeting? In the dimly lit hall of Root, Danzo frowned slightly. What he didn't know was that all the messengers of Root were controlled by the Hyuga clan. Under the power of the Byakugan, it was impossible to hide anything in Root unless everyone there was a cage-level ninja. Hyuga Hiyashi was willing to help not only because of Sarutobi Hiruzen's orders, but also because of Li Zhang's promise. After the clan leader meeting, Hayuga Hiyashi had completely understood that Li Shang was not an ordinary person, but a destined dragon that would soar. Li Shang was also feeling troubled at this moment. Being pulled aside by the clan leaders one after another, and even having many people ask him if he wanted a wife. It made him feel like he was back in his previous life, facing the terrifying scene of dealing with numerous relatives during Chinese New Year. He really wanted to say loudly, please show some respect to Danzo. So this is Ro's weakness. Shisui couldn't help but smile. Seeing Li Shang, who had always been calm and confident, in such a distressed expression was truly a rare sight. The Uchiha haven't made such a big splash in a long time. Uchiha Fugaku and Shisui had completely different thoughts. Since the Night of the Nine Tails, their Uchiha clan had been imprisoned in Konoha, as if they were in jail. Although Shisui and Itachi were very famous, they were completely different from Li Shang. Strength could make people fear, but wisdom could make people convinced. However, Li Zhang's strength was indeed a problem. Uchiha Fugaku didn't quite understand why he still hadn't awakened his eyes. Not to mention the Mangekio Sharingan, he didn't even have the regular Sharingan. Was it because he hadn't experienced any stimulation? Uchiha Fugaku recalled his own process of awakening his eyes and couldn't help but sigh. As they approached Root, everyone stopped talking. Uchiha Fugaku commanded the ninjas of his clan to surround the Root base. But they were eventually detected by Root. What did you say? Danzo looked at his trusted subordinate, Yamanaka Kazuya, and couldn't help but ask again. Uchiha Fugaku, Hayuga Hiyashi, and more than ten other clan leaders have come to visit. Yamanaka Kazuya answered respectfully. In the original work, he was Danzo's bodyguard when Danzo served as the acting Hokage, which showed his status. What's going on? Danzo felt puzzled, but he wasn't too worried. With the decades-long friendship between him and Serutobi Hiruzen, he couldn't believe that these clan leaders would act against him. But such visits had never happened before. Gather the members of Root to protect secretly. Danzo waved his hand and said, as the headquarters of Root, 
there were dozens of elite ninjas here. Even if the clan leaders were to make a move, he was confident that he could escape with his own strength. But such a thing was obviously impossible. Danzo walked out of the gate. A row of rude ninjas immediately followed behind him. He looked at the many clan leaders and asked calmly, what's the matter? No one answered. Danzo felt a hint of anger rising in his heart. Even Sarutobi Hirazan didn't dare to ignore me, so who do you think you are? But everyone present was a clan leader, so he couldn't just lose his temper. What, are all the clan leaders here to visit my route? A hint of dissatisfaction could be heard in their words. Lang, you speak. Uchiha Fugaku glanced at the others and found that they all had the same thoughts. Li Shang shrugged and said, so you still need a junior to deliver the message. He took a few steps forward and said, the Konoha Police Department is here on the orders of Hokage-sama to capture Shimura Danzo. You're talking nonsense. Danzo couldn't help but curse, how could Hokage give such an order? I think you're deceiving everyone and living recklessly. Li Shang shook his head and said, Shisui, take off his bandages. Shisui, who was close to achieving the ultimate, had already disappeared as soon as Li Shang finished speaking. Danzo didn't even have time to react before he felt the restraints on him loosen, revealing his arm and the Sharingan on it. At this time, the Uchiha clan had not been annihilated, so there was no shortage of Sharingan, only two. No one knew whose unlucky eyes they were. This is indeed the first Hokage's cells, with vitality surging like the ocean. Akamaiki Dingzo couldn't help but speak up. Their Akamaiki clan's secret technique was related to the body's yang release, so when the seal on the bandages was released, he was the first to notice. Not only him, but Hayuga Hiyashi and others could also sense it, just a second too late. And Uchiha Fugaku's expression was even more grim than theirs. Danzo had actually transplanted their Uchiha's Sharingan. This was simply unforgivable. Everyone, the evidence is conclusive, I don't need to say more unnecessary words. Li Shang spread his hands and said, kill him. Danzo's eyes instantly turned bloodshot. Exposing the Sharingan and Hashirama's cells meant something, and he knew it very well. It's over. It's all over. You, I'll kill you. Danzo looked at Li Shang, his face filled with crazy killing intent. He reached out his arm, his muscles wriggled, and countless vines shot out like arrows. It's wood style. Except for Uchiha Fugaku and Shisui, who knew the news in advance, the others all showed shocked expressions. They knew that Danzo had transplanted Hashirama's cells, but they didn't know that it would allow him to master wood style. And the reputation of wood style was well known in the ninja world. Li Shang, on the other hand, didn't care at all. In terms of wood style proficiency, Danzo was still no match for Yamato. The only troublesome thing was Izanagi. But he didn't care, Uchiha Fugaku and others didn't dare to be negligent. In an instant, a sea of fire appeared in front of Li Shang. Because there were too many fire-style ninjutsu mixed together. But it also proved Li Zhang's position in the Uchiha clan. Without a doubt, he was the first clan member to be recognized without relying on strength. Li Shang raised an eyebrow, he was prepared. In fact, the one here was just a clone. Shisui, control him for me. Li Shang shouted. Shisui, without hesitation, activated his Mangekyo Sharingan. He instantly appeared in front of Danzo. Danzo subconsciously glanced at him. The world suddenly turned pitch black. When he looked down, he saw his body filled with wooden wedges, and an unbearable pain surged up. Danzo was greatly shocked. Just one glance and he fell into a genjutsu. He quickly activated the Sharingan on his arm. Based on his understanding of the Uchiha, he knew that only Sharingan could deal with Sharingan. But it was useless. In the moment he was stunned, Li Shang drew his sword and calmly cut it down. Blood splattered. Danzo's right hand of the king fell to the ground. Ah, ah, ah. My right hand. Danzo held onto his severed arm, the sudden pain and the uniqueness of his right hand making him furious. But soon, he displayed the qualities expected of a ninja and stopped shouting. I want to see Serutobi Hirazan. Danzo was still trapped in the genjutsu, the double pain making his face turn pale. Shisui's eyes were definitely not ordinary Sharingan. He recalled something from a long time ago and suddenly felt a chill, realizing what kind of eyes they were. The ones Senju Tobarama had mentioned. The evil Uchiha. 
Danzo unconsciously uttered his teacher's catchphrase, then shouted, Sarutobi Hirazan, come out. Otherwise, you will regret it. If Sarutobi Hirazan wanted to kill him, he would definitely come in person. But there was no response. A sense of panic and regret arose in Danzo's heart. Panic because it was possible that he might actually die, and regret because he had been careless and hadn't anticipated the ambush of the two young men, which resulted in him not using Azanagi in advance. Now that his right arm had been cut off, he no longer had the Sharingan and couldn't use Azanagi anymore. How could this be so coincidental? He suddenly had a feeling of being completely exposed. Sarutobi Hirazan, if you have the ability to kill me, then come out. Danzo shouted with all his strength. His only hope was to see Sarutobi Hirazan again. As long as he was willing to talk to him, he would have a way out. I have to remind you, Li Zhang's voice sounded in the darkness, the things you say in the Genjutsu cannot be heard outside. Quote dot 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 quote. Danzo's body trembled. No, Li Shang felt that there should be a BGM of Yi Jian Mei at this moment. Then Sarutobi Hirazan would jump out and say, don't contact me anymore, I'm afraid the Uchiha will misunderstand. He shivered and shook off the strange association, and the katana beheaded him. It was a bit too easy, Li Shang said with some emotion as he retracted his long sword. Although every time a time traveler arrived at Hokage, they had to kill Danzo to liven things up, he was probably the easiest. Shisui heard this and couldn't help but smile. Easy. Actually, it wasn't easy. His Mangekio Sharingan was obtained at a great cost. I think you should consider how to awaken your eyes, Shisui suggested, your strength is your only weakness, and I can't be with you all the time. Awaken my eyes. Li Shang looked at the root ninja who was still resisting, then glanced at Uchiha Itachi and said, regarding awakening the eyes, I have an idea. If everything goes smoothly, perhaps the Uchiha will no longer suffer because of awakening their eyes. Shisui couldn't help but be taken aback. He instinctively asked, is that possible? I'm not doubting you, but that statement is too astonishing. Li Shang understood his thoughts and could only say that the Uchiha's understanding of the Mangekio Sharingan was not as good as Senju Tobarama's. He patted Shisui's shoulder and said, just wait and see. I'll wait and see, Shisui took a deep breath and suppressed his curiosity. As a clan member who loved the Uchiha, he didn't want to see the tragedies caused by awakening the eyes. So whether it was him or Uchiha Fugaku, they never dared to reveal how they awakened their Mangekio Sharingan. Not to mention whether it was applicable to others, but in order to obtain powerful strength, some people would definitely try to kill their parents and friends. It seems like he's really dead, Li Shang had been waiting for Donzo's corpse to transform, but there was still no sign of resurrection after the battle with Root. Uchiha Madara could delay his resurrection with Izanagi, and it seemed like Danzo could too. It's just that he remembered Obito's was three minutes, while Danzo seemed to be measured in seconds. It had been so long, if he had used Izanagi, he would have come back to life long ago. Li Shang suddenly thought that the current Danzo might not be able to use Izanagi because he had nowhere to learn it. I wonder whose eyes these are, Uchiha Fugaku used a glass bottle to soak the eyes on Danzo's right arm. Which Uchiha clan member has a close relationship with him? Li Shang asked in response. Shisui's expression immediately froze. Uchiha Fugaku sighed and said, only his teammate, Uchiha Kagami. Shisui is a descendant of Uchiha Kagami. He remembered his past admiration for Danzo and couldn't help but show a regretful expression. The past is in the past and doesn't need to be dwelled upon, Li Shang comforted. Regardless of whether it was Lord Mirror's decision, you have already avenged him with your own hands. After they finished their conversation, Nara Shikaku and others approached. Chief Fugaku, Nara Shikaku said gratefully, the members of the route have been brought back by us. We leave the rest of the cleanup work to you. Uchiha Fugaku smiled and said, that is the responsibility of our Leaf Police Department. Truly, he was the smartest ninja. After years of operation, the route had accumulated numerous secrets and wealth. By handling the aftermath, it meant that the other ninja clans wouldn't take a single penny. For the Uchiha, who had been in conflict for many years, it was undoubtedly a windfall. Lang, come visit the Nara clan when you have time, Nara Shikaku specifically greeted Li Shang before leaving. Not only him, but also Akamaiki Choza and Yamanaka Inoichi.
The Inoshika Cho trio always moved together. Too bad my daughter is only five years old, Yamanaka Inoichi suddenly had a realization. I forgot that Lang is only ten. How about you come for a marriage proposal in a few years? Quote dot 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 quote. Li Shang knew he was joking, but still wanted to retort. This was too cruel, but his daughter Ino would indeed be beautiful when she grew up. But she wasn't his type. Lang, you're really popular, Shisui stifled a laugh and said. In fact, he and Itachi had similar experiences, but it was all within the clan. If we have time to chat, we might as well go do some work, Li Shang said with a helpless expression, waving his hand. Oh, right, if there are any relevant documents about the second Hokage, give them to me. Haha, ha, no problem, Shisui laughed and then disappeared. Tisk. Shisui's body flicker is really fast, Li Shang couldn't be bothered to search the house and took out the assignment handed over by Uchiha Itachi to review. He barely finished reading it by nightfall. How is it? Oh, Itachi, when did you get here? Just now, we finished cleaning up the roots inheritance. What did you gain? A lot, enough to ensure the Uchiha won't have to worry about food and drink for several years. It seems like this bloodshed was profitable. Li Shang patted his assignment and said, This report is very detailed and well done, but it lacks some critical thinking. Luckily, I have a few questions. Go ahead. Uchiha Itachi immediately became serious. The ordinary residents of Konoha are very vulnerable, right? Li Zhang's first question caught Uchiha Itachi off guard. Yes, he said, compared to ninjas, they are too fragile. Natural disasters and man-made calamities can easily destroy them, so we need to protect them. Why do we need to protect them? Li Shang looked at him and asked, ninjas are incredibly powerful, and they are just burdens. Why do you say we need to protect them? You can protect your own family, but why protect strangers? Uchiha Itachi stood frozen in place. This question, once again caught him off guard, leaving him somewhat at a loss. Uchiha Itachi pondered for a moment and said, because they are residents of Konoha, and I am a shinobi of Konoha. A loving family of Konoha, ha. Huh? Li Shang showed no surprise. Uchiha Itachi's current thinking still revolved around the will of fire. The will of fire does indeed have its merits. But slogans alone won't achieve anything. Just like Uchiha Itachi now, embodying the will of fire means protecting Konoha. And doing so in his own way, such as annihilating his clan as seen in the original work. He didn't know how to make Konoha prosper, nor did he know how to truly reconcile the major shinobi clans of Konoha. Protection alone is meaningless, Li Shang asked, have you seen their vulnerability? Have you seen their strength? Strength? None, Uchiha Itachi shook his head, speaking the truth. This world was created by them, not by shinobi, Li Shang paused and said, they are the true masters, and what you need to do is lead them and fully unleash their power. In Marvel, there is a classic saying, with great power comes great responsibility. Shinobi are like superhumans, and using their abilities solely for fighting is the biggest waste. Lead, are the Hokage leading them? Uchiha Itachi quickly responded. Barely, but Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo have lost their original intentions, which is the will of fire, Li Shang asked again, do you know why they need to be led? Because their individual strength is relatively weak. Uchiha Itachi pondered and said, so they need us to lead them. You're smart, unity is strength, and a group is always stronger than an individual, Li Shang changed the topic, but that's not what I want to say. The real reason is their blind obedience. Knowledge determines one's perspective. The residents of Konoha have hardly received any education, so naturally, they can't understand things very well. Uzumaki Naruto is called a demon fox, because of the inaction of the Hokage and the conformity of the Konoha residents. They have lost their ability to think. In the absence of education, Li Shang can only lead them. And in a ninja world with superhuman powers, shinobi are undoubtedly the most suitable. Just like in the movie, Let the Bullets Fly, Zhang Mazi mobilized the entire city's people with great effort and ultimately achieved victory. As long as there is one person, even if it's an ordinary person, as long as they have an unwavering determination, they are a spark of hope. And that's what Li Shang hopes for. He came to this world and must leave something behind. Blind obedience. Uchiha Itachi suddenly had a flash of insight. As if a door had opened, he had a feeling of sudden enlightenment. 
he understood what Li Shang meant by leading. This is the same principle as the will of fire advocating no barriers between clans and no conflicts between individuals. But the requirements for shinobi are higher. What should I do? Uchiha Itachi took a deep breath, looking at Li Shang with eyes full of anticipation and thirst for knowledge. Just like when he met Shisui in his confusion and took the will of fire as the direction of his life. At this moment, he felt like he had found a treasure. That's a long story. Li Shang glanced at the sky and said, let's go eat first. We can't save the world on an empty stomach. Shisui also walked over and handed him some documents, saying, here's what you wanted. He didn't interrupt earlier when he saw the two of them engrossed in conversation. Li Shang put away the documents, stretched lazily, and said, today deserves a feast. Shisui smiled and said, seems like you guys had a great conversation. Because I saw hope. Li Shang blinked her eyes, it's what I told you before. The three of them finished eating barbecue. Shisui quickly left. Many things regarding the Uchiha clan needed to be handled by him. Come, follow me into the house. Li Shang pulled Uchiha Itachi, preparing for a late night conversation. And the first lesson is how to control public opinion, how to guide the residents of Konoha. Newspapers, television, radio broadcasts, movies, and so on, would open Uchiha Itachi's eyes. He never knew there was so much knowledge in these things. Actually, what Li Shang said wasn't that great, after all, she was just a high school student. But for the undeveloped ninja world, it was already mind-blowing. Yo, I'll leave the establishment of the company to you. Li Shang waved her hand and went to Uchiha Fugaku's residence. After a night of studying, Uchiha Itachi had already grown. He was too lazy to bother with trivial matters like starting a company. Teacher, Li Shang knocked on the door and entered. Have some tea. Uchiha Fugaku had received a report earlier, so he wasn't surprised. He poured a cup of tea and handed it to Li Shang. Call Shisui over. Last night, when I was reviewing the roots information about the second Hokage, I discovered something. Li Shang held the teacup and said. Uchiha Fugaku immediately had someone notify Shisui. A few minutes later, Shisui appeared. The second Hokage, Senju Tobarama, spent a lot of time researching the Sharingan. Li Shang took a sip of tea and went straight to the point, he already knows how to awaken the Mangekyo Sharingan. What? Uchiha Fugaku couldn't help but be shocked. Senju Tobarama was indeed amazing but as an outsider, it was unbelievable that he could figure out their Uchiha clan's supreme eye technique. The awakening of the Mangekyo Sharingan requires a strong emotional stimulus. Li Shang looked at the two of them and said, have you witnessed the death of your loved ones or close friends? Uchiha Fugaku and Shisui glanced at each other, both seeing the incredulity in each other's eyes. It proved that what Li Shang said was true. The second Hokage is truly. Uchiha Fugaku was momentarily unsure how to evaluate him. But does it have to be negative emotions? Li Shang shook her head and said, I believe positive emotions can also awaken the Mangekyo Sharingan. It's too difficult. Shisui couldn't help but smile bitterly. Positive joy is too fleeting, while negative emotions can persist. You're right. Male pleasure, female love, family happiness, promotion and wealth, they are all temporary. Li Shang said seriously, but there is one positive emotion that is permanent. It possesses infinite power, transcending low-level pleasures. It can make a person go from ordinary to great, and it can give a person an unwavering steel ambition until death. What is it? Shisui widened his eyes. Uchiha Fugaku also looked at him curiously. World peace. Quote dot 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 question mark quote. The two of them were a bit confused by the answer. I plan to implement it on Yo, so you can wait and see. Li Shang didn't explain further. The Mangekyo Sharingan is a reflection of the soul. Emotions originate from the soul. And a person with unimaginable conviction will have a soul as solid as a rock. Li Shang was still not completely at ease with Uchiha Itachi. But if he could awaken it because of this, he would never commit the act of annihilating the clan again and the Uchiha clan members behind him would also become the most steadfast revolutionaries, the Heavenly Drive warriors. Learning is a long and persistent process, and so is change. Uchiha Itachi knew that achieving Li Zhang's goal was not something that could be done quickly. And the change in Konoha also needed to be carefully planned. 
if it was too drastic, it would definitely attract attention from others. Li Shang didn't want to be as rough as Obito, even if he didn't have the Byakugan, he would still be suspected by others. But he could understand Obito's desire for revenge. The culprit behind the death of Haruno Rin was Kurigakur, who had given her the tailed beast. Since Obito had control over the Mizukage, he couldn't help but vent his anger. Ever since he believed in the infinite Tsukuyomi, his mindset had changed. In Li Zhang's words, it was like playing a game. He had already failed in achieving the first goal and wanted to quickly overturn it and open the second goal. During this process, whoever tried to stop him would be killed. For example, his teacher Minato, his clan members. But the infinite Tsukuyomi was not a simulator, there was no chance to start over. In short, he was a foolish and evil teenager with a lovesick and Chunabu brain. Not bad, Li Shang observed his surroundings. Although the set was relatively simple, with a fake mountain pool in the middle and two rows of wooden houses on both sides, it was a suitable base for the new company. He even thought about moving Tenjuan over here. But considering that they would inevitably expand in the future, this plan became meaningless. They might even change locations. What should we name our company? Uchiha Itachi asked beside him. That's a good question. Li Shang really had no idea. In his previous life, he had difficulty coming up with names. He could spend half an hour just naming a character in a game. Calling it, Tianchu, would be too obvious. After all, it was a secret organization. The simplest would be, Konoha Entertainment. But he didn't want to limit it to just Konoha, he wanted to promote it throughout the entire ninja world. Suddenly, Li Shang had a flash of inspiration and thought of a meaningful name. Let's call it the Three Musketeers. Uchiha Itachi immediately associated it with himself, Shisui, and Li Shang. He nodded involuntarily. Our slogan will be, all for one, one for all. This phrase came from Alexander Dumas, the Three Musketeers, and its other name was, the Three Musketeers. After Li Shang finished speaking, Uchiha Itachi fell into silence. He suddenly thought of the question from yesterday, why protect strangers? And this slogan seemed to be a perfect answer. Only when you are willing to help others will you receive help from others one day. A very simple truth. What's wrong? Seeing him in a daze, Li Shang couldn't help but ask, has our Uchiha genius had another revelation? I can't be considered a genius in front of you. Uchiha Itachi snapped out of his thoughts and asked, there's been a question weighing on my mind for a long time. Why do you know so much? Read more books and look less at pretty Uchiha's. Quote dot 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 question mark quote. Uchiha Itachi suddenly wanted to complain. What on earth was this? By the way, speaking of this, there's something I need you to do. Li Shang changed the topic, as he couldn't explain further. What is it? You need to select seven Uchiha clan members for me, three females and four males. All right. I will choose seven powerful Uchihas for you. Uchiha Itachi thought he was going to form a core group. No, I don't need them to be powerful. I only have one requirement. The females should be beautiful, and the males should be handsome. Li Shang waved his hand and said, quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Uchiha Itachi was shocked, thinking about what he had just said about pretty Uchihas. He hesitated for a moment and advised, Lang, you're only 10 years old. It's not the time for indulgence, especially for boys. Ah, Li Shang widened his eyes. I exclaimed in my mind. Could it be that he's possessed by Jiraiya? Or is it so easy to misunderstand what I just said? Although I know there's a saying, after fighting for a lifetime, can't one enjoy some pleasure? But our career is just starting, I wouldn't do such a thing, and I like girls. Then why are you here? Uchiha Itachi understood that he had misunderstood but he didn't think it was his fault. We are an entertainment company, we must have celebrities to support the scene. Li Shang said naturally, but I'm worried that they don't know how to be celebrities. Uchiha Itachi thought they were going to invite existing celebrities from outside, but he didn't expect Li Shang to choose from within the Uchiha clan. I will teach them, and this is an opportunity to change the Uchiha's reputation. Li Shang patted his shoulder with emotion and said, you don't know how crazy the star chasing clan is. Although Uchiha Itachi felt a bit strange, he still chose to believe. Do you want to give it a try? To save the Uchiha and debut as an idol. 
Li Shang smiled and looked him up and down, saying, Both your appearance and temperament are very suitable for the cool and aloof male god style. Quote dot 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 quote. Uchiha Itachi subconsciously took a step back. Ha ha ha. Li Shang couldn't help but laugh out loud. This move is like a god descending to earth. Look at how I made the famous toad god retreat with just one sentence. Uchiha Itachi didn't know what to say. If it weren't for Li Zhang's previous miraculous performance, he would have suspected that this guy had some serious illness. Dot dot dot. A secret room in Kurigakur. Obito, there's something you'll definitely be interested in. White Zetsu emerged from the ground and said, the Uchiha clan killed Shimura Danzo. Oh, the Uchiha finally couldn't resist rebelling. Although Obito was in Kurigakur, he had been keeping an eye on the Uchiha. He knew very well how bad their situation was now. After all, he was one of the main culprits. No. White Zetsu showed a cheerful smile. You would never guess what happened. It was Sarutobi Hirazan who ordered the Uchiha to take action. That's impossible, Obito answered without hesitation. But that's the truth, so it's quite interesting, isn't it? It seems that there must be something we don't know. Obito narrowed his eyes. The first thing he thought of was the Mangekio Sharingan. Because what he did in Kurigakur was controlling the Mizukage. If the Uchiha had obtained the Mangekio Sharingan, everything could be explained. How did Danzo die? Obito pondered and asked. He was controlled by Uchiha Shisui, and then Uchiha Lang cut off his head, all within three seconds. It's the Mangekio Sharingan, Obito said firmly, Shisui must have activated the Mangekio Sharingan. Shisui's reputation had long spread throughout the ninja world. And he earned that title during the battle with Kurigakur. It made sense for someone with his talent to activate the Mangekio Sharingan. After thinking for a moment, Obito planned to visit Konoha. He was well aware of the power of the Mangekio Sharingan. Because of this, he thought he could try to recruit Shisui into the Akatsuki organization. Since Shisui dared to control the Hokage, he must be ambitious, which made Obito very curious. Even if they couldn't cooperate, he could still test his eye technique. After all, the Akatsuki organization was destined to be enemies with the whole world. Konoha's third training ground. I've made it clear, you're not my match, Sasuke said, looking at Naruto, who was full of fighting spirit, feeling speechless. This guy challenges him at least three times every day. It's really annoying. This time, there won't be any problem. Naruto exclaimed, excitedly. In contrast to Sasuke's despondency, Naruto was thrilled. Originally alone and disliked by everyone, he had a very powerful teacher for the first time and made friends his age. The combination of these two happy things made him feel like he was in a dream. His original personality was carefree and unwilling to lose. In his eyes, sparring with Sasuke was more like playing around between friends. He really liked this kind of pattern. But Sasuke wasn't satisfied because Naruto was too weak, and fighting him was not interesting at all. And what was most annoying was that this guy didn't recognize him as the leader. It was like dying before achieving victory. They hadn't even entered the ninja school yet, and he couldn't handle a little brat. How could he face Uchiha Ro? In today's Konoha, Uchiha Ro and Uchiha Itachi were flourishing. In Sasuke's mind, he had long regarded them as his life goals. All right, let me shatter the illusion you shouldn't have. Sasuke said, not using ninjutsu because he felt it was too much of a bully against Naruto. His body disappeared, and in the next instant, he raised his leg, delivering a chilling kick. In theory, Naruto wouldn't be able to block it. But he extended his arm and used his elbow to catch the kick perfectly. Naruto grunted, the tremendous force causing his right arm to momentarily go numb. Sasuke wasn't particularly surprised. After all, they had been fighting for half a month and knew each other inside out. He had long discovered that Naruto's physical qualities were extraordinary. He had endurance and quick reflexes. You still have a long way to go, Sasuke said disdainfully. He heard this phrase from Li Zhang's mouth. He liked it a lot and it had become his catchphrase. As soon as he finished speaking, Sasuke used Naruto's right arm as leverage and flew to his head, his legs like scissors clamping down on his head, directly pinning him to the ground. Call me leader. I won't. Naruto struggled violently, but it was in vain. He was only slightly better than Sasuke in terms of physical qualities. The rest of the gap was quite large. 
Kakashi looked at Sasuke riding on Naruto's body and couldn't help but smile. He thought of his two teammates. It was just that Sasuke's personality was a bit problematic. Too obsessed with being the leader. Kakashi glanced at the sky. A clear blue sky. It was good weather for going out. He called Sasuke and Naruto, bought two bunches of flowers at the flower shop, and came to the memorial stone. I used to not understand the importance of comrades and friends, thinking that a ninja should only have missions, Kakashi patted Sasuke's little head and said, the prerequisite for being a leader is to become friends with them. Purely using force to suppress them is meaningless because they will eventually betray you. During this time, he fully realized Sasuke's astonishing talent. Being from the Uchiha clan, he would undoubtedly possess the Sharingan in the future. He already regarded him as his disciple, someone who could inherit his legacy, so he didn't want Sasuke to only focus on being the leader and neglect the true treasure. But Kakashi could also understand. Sasuke was still too inexperienced and didn't understand anything. Just then, in the dark corner not far away, Obito silently watched this scene. For various reasons, he often followed Kakashi. He even eavesdropped on Kashina's delivery time. You're still so naive, Kakashi, Obito said lazily, not wanting to listen to him educate the two kids anymore, and turned to leave. He had been in Konoha for almost a week, investigating all the while. It was true that Sarutobi Hirazan was being controlled by the Mangekio Sharingan. But the actual situation was far from what he had expected. For example, he thought it was Shisui vying for power. But it wasn't. Obito quickly discovered the key figure. Uchiha Ro. He had seen the changes in Konoha during this time very clearly. First, Root was disbanded, and the Anbu expanded, but the new members were almost all from the Uchiha clan. Second, the replacement of members in the Konoha police force, no longer dominated by the Uchiha clan, but joined by the Hyuga, Nara, Yamanaka, and other major ninja clans. There were also things like Tenchi Bridge and the three ninja swordsmen that he couldn't quite understand. Obito suddenly felt that Konoha was very unfamiliar. And the center of all this was three young people. Uchiha Ro, Uchiha Shisui, and Uchiha Itachi. Among them, the one playing the leading role was Uchiha Ro, which surprised him the most. He carefully observed that Uchiha Ro's strength was quite average. So he couldn't understand. But for him, it was indeed a good opportunity. Obito could easily get close to Uchiha Ro without worrying about the Genjutsu backfiring. After all, the Genjutsu of the Mangekio Sharingan was varied. If he rashly approached Shisui, there might be problems. Although he believed that he could easily escape with his Kamui. Hum, Uchiha Itachi. Obito leapt onto a tree. He had seen Uchiha Itachi before and even killed his teammate. The reason he let him go back then was because he thought he might be useful. If it weren't for Li Zhang's interference, he would indeed have been quite helpful. Hu, Uchiha Itachi suddenly drew the long knife from behind his back. Interesting, how did you discover me? Obito appeared generously in front of him. It's you, Uchiha Itachi's eyes narrowed. He could never forget that familiar mask. Why aren't you attacking me? Obito couldn't help but laugh. Could it be that you haven't improved? Uchiha Itachi remained unfazed and asked, Why did you come to Konoha? He remained calm and understood that he was no match for this mysterious person. So, he wanted to buy time and gather information. Obito looked at him with admiration. Uchiha Itachi was undoubtedly a very qualified ninja. After thinking for a moment, he said, I think you are qualified to join our organization. Organization, Uchiha Itachi's heart skipped a beat. This was actually an organization. Just this mysterious person alone was dangerous enough. Yes, our organization. Obito extended his hand in invitation and said, you have talent and enough ability. Join us and create a brand new world. What kind of world? A world without pain, without war, only peace. How will you achieve that? I can tell you, but if you don't join, death awaits you. Obito raised an eyebrow and smiled. Do you still want to know? He formed hand seals, and four shadow clones surrounded Uchiha Itachi. With wood style and kamui, he had absolute confidence in instantly killing this so-called genius. Uchiha Itachi also understood this logic, but he remembered what he had learned in the past half month. This mysterious organization was definitely a major enemy in the future. Please, go ahead. 
Uchiha Itachi said in a calm tone. Not bad, you have courage. Obito nodded and began talking about the moon's eye plan. In very simple terms, it was to use the moon to cast Genjutsu on the entire ninja world. Uchiha Itachi remained silent, he looked at Obito, who was boasting, and suddenly felt anger rising within him. What kind of person could come up with such a foolish plan? What meaning did life have if it was deceived by Genjutsu? It was all illusory. What do you think? Obito said triumphantly, it is your honor to participate in such a great plan. In the infinite Tsukuyomi, you can have everything. Sorry, I cannot agree. Uchiha Itachi shook his head and said, this plan is worthless. What did you say? Obito's face suddenly darkened. He absolutely would not allow anyone to insult Project Tsuki no Mi. It was his only lifeline and the only thing he relied on in his actions. Poor thing. Uchiha Itachi looked at his angry appearance and said, Do you understand anything? What do you understand? Obito was completely enraged, and his right eye instantly turned bloody red. Uchiha Itachi hardly reacted and was controlled by the powerful dojutsu. Then came Obito's fist. The force was so great. He could already hear the sound of bones breaking inside him. Uchiha Itachi spat out a mouthful of blood and said, I think you are the one who truly doesn't understand. I don't understand, do you? Obito sneered and threw another punch. Illusions are ultimately illusions. They have no real foundation, so how can they bring you happiness? Uchiha Itachi's tone remained unchanged. Return to reality, everything starts from reality. Returning to reality is simply naive. Obito suddenly felt bored. The current ninja world is only filled with pain and war. Exactly because of that, we need to face it instead of running away. Uchiha Itachi opened his Sharingan and said, This is not running away, it's rebuilding. Obito felt a mix of embarrassment and anger. He was indeed running away. He wanted to create a world where Rin would love him. Perhaps that was why Obito didn't resurrect Rin. True peace is not a world created and dominated by your own power. Uchiha Itachi's emotions suddenly surged. He said firmly, It is a world where everyone is equal, without high or low, governed by law, where everyone contributes according to their abilities and resources are distributed according to needs. The anger in Obito's eyes reached its peak. Uchiha Itachi was too resolute, to the point where it made him doubt Project Tsuki no Mi. But soon, he regained his confidence. The moon's eye plan must be real. This guy was just trying to mislead him. Drown in your ideals. Countless branches sprouted from Obito's right arm, instantly swelling like arrows, piercing through Uchiha Itachi. Blood sprayed all over the ground. But he didn't die. Do you want to see the world I spoke of? Uchiha Itachi stood up calmly. His eyes kept spinning, and finally, two black circles connected like sickles appeared. Obito couldn't help but take a step back. At this moment, the radiant sunlight rose in the east. He looked at Uchiha Itachi and felt a sense of unease, as if he couldn't look him in the eye. Obito realized that Uchiha Itachi had broken free from his control. In addition to these special patterned eyes, there is only one truth. Uchiha Itachi activated the Mangekyo Sharingan. It's simply inexplicable. At this moment, Obito's face was filled with vigilance, but he felt a hint of jealousy in his heart. Compared to him, Uchiha Itachi seemed too relaxed. Just a few words of illusion. But no matter what, Obito would not underestimate the power of any Sharingan. His rationality returned. He took a deep breath and observed Uchiha Itachi. A faint pressure and surging vitality emanated from him. Yang release. Obito suddenly found it unbelievable. How could it be Yang release? The Mangekyo Sharingan is the ultimate in Yin release. It was the first time he had seen Yang release eye techniques. It's simply unscientific. So what's the use? Obito suddenly noticed that the wounds inflicted on Uchiha Itachi by his wood style had already healed. Does Yang release have a healing effect on the body? It's a bit troublesome. He just didn't know how fast it was and to what extent it could heal. If it reached the level of Senju Hashirama, it could be called perverted. And it solved the biggest problem after Uchiha activated the Mangekyo Sharingan, blindness and physical weakness. Obito could freely use Kamui with the help of Hashirama's cells. If Uchiha Itachi's Yang release eye technique had this effect, he could also use it endlessly. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. The sound of breaking through the air rang out. 
shurikens flew through his body at an extremely fast speed, creating small craters when they hit the ground. Obito had already activated Kamui in advance. Shadow clone. He looked towards the position where the shurikens appeared on the left and found another Uchiha Itachi. But his question remained unanswered. A dazzling blade descended from the sky. Obito saw a beautiful arc. You underestimate me too much. He snorted coldly and directly grabbed the katana. Hard branches emerged from his arm, piercing through Uchiha Itachi's shadow clone. No blood flowed out. The shadow clone staggered back a few steps. A flash of red light appeared on its body, and it returned to normal. The katana swung diagonally, turning into a blade of light. Obito quickly retreated. He already understood that this was not a shadow clone, but Uchiha Itachi's eye technique. A scorching aura spread from Obito's right side. He glanced over. A roaring fire dragon, nearly 10 meters long, covered his body in shadows. And on the left side, a chilling aura trembled. Two swirling streams of water attacked him. Obito's face looked somewhat embarrassed. There were actually four special clones. His right eye suddenly froze. The space around him distorted. Obito took a deep breath and exhaled countless flames. The flames merged with the wind and expanded at an unimaginable speed. In an instant, a flaming tornado centered around Obito formed. Fire style. Exploding wind dance. The attacks of the four special clones were instantly broken. Only the two streams of water persisted for two seconds. But Obito didn't feel any reason to be happy. Because the injuries inflicted on the clones had healed in an instant. Not only that, but two more clones appeared. In other words, including himself, he was now fighting against seven Uchiha Itachis. He wasn't fighting one against seven. But he didn't have time to think about it. Uchiha Itachi's attacks came at him again. Obito suddenly realized a serious problem. His single-eyed Kamui was most afraid of continuous attacks. It can be cracked in just five minutes. For ordinary ninjas, it is almost impossible to attack without interruption for five minutes. But Uchiha Itachi is different, he has many people on his side. Once again, Obito evaded all attacks using Kamui. Uchiha Itachi, with an expressionless face, created three more special clones. He has always believed that every ninjutsu has its weaknesses. The same goes for this mysterious ninja's Kamui. He doesn't believe he can maintain this state forever. Obito's eyes narrowed, and three more clones appeared. Can't you handle it? Doubts of retreat arose in his heart. Continuing the fight is meaningless. Obito formed hand seals. Suddenly, several giant trees appeared around him, blooming like flowers. Then the branches spiraled upwards, enveloping Uchiha Itachi. Wood style. Hell's chaos. Still, strangely, there was no blood. Wait, where is this guy's real body? Obito suddenly realized something was wrong. The wind howled. Uchiha Itachi's body blurred in the air, followed by a sonic boom. His speed had reached the ultimate level. Boom. Obito was kicked away. I have found your weakness, Uchiha Itachi said calmly. You cannot hollow while attacking. Obito inexplicably felt fear. He suddenly remembered his teacher, Namikaze Minato. In an instant, he was surrounded by nine special clones. Obito looked at the ten pairs of Mangekio Sharingan and involuntarily took a step back. Kamui. He activated his dojutsu without hesitation. His body twisted. You can absorb yourself too. Uchiha Itachi raised an eyebrow and unleashed a great fireball technique with a wave of his hand. The nine special clones made almost identical movements. The flames merged into one. Obito was completely engulfed. Uchiha Itachi heard a scream but didn't see a body. So, the speed of absorbing oneself is not as fast as I imagined. He concluded, if you still have this level of ability the next time we meet, you have no chance of survival. Uchiha Itachi dispelled his special clones. Tears of blood flowed from his eyes. Although his use of the unorthodox Yang release Dojutsu was burdensome, using it right after awakening was too much. He glanced into the distance. There were people approaching. Fortunately, the place where they fought was on the outskirts of Konoha. Plus, they didn't use any large-scale ninjutsu, otherwise they would have been detected long ago. Sasuke, what happened to your eyes? Shisui and Li Shang were the first to arrive. They happened to be at the Uchiha compound. Although they controlled Serutobi Hirazan, 
the Uchiha clan had not moved back there and remained in a remote location. I activated the Mangekio Sharingan, but this is not the place to talk, Uchiha Itachi shook his head and said, let's go back to the Uchiha compound. After they left, more ninjas arrived, but they quickly returned to report to the Hokage as they had no significant findings. Only the two Hokage advisors remained. The traces of the Mangekio Sharingan, Mitokado Homura took a deep breath and said. He was a disciple of Senju Tobarama and had some knowledge of his teacher's research. Seru Tobi Hirazan, Yudatane Kaharu quickly realized the key point. His recent behavior has been too abnormal, especially disregarding our advice several times, and he even ordered the killing of Danzo. If it's the Mangekio Sharingan, it can explain it, Mitokado Homura's mind wavered. He didn't expect the Uchiha clan to dare to do such audacious things, nor did he expect this evil eye to resurface. Our power is limited, we must contact the Serutobi clan, the Hayuga clan, and the Inoshika Cho trio, Yudatane Kaharu said in a deep voice. The Serutobi clan has developed rapidly in recent years, and during the Fourth Great Ninja War, they were rumored to have an army of 3,000 Serutobi fire-style soldiers. As for the Hayuga and Inoshika Cho clans, it goes without saying that they have always been supporters of the Hokage lineage. Uchiha Itachi recounted his encounter with the masked man to Shisui and Li Shang. Shisui was astonished to learn that such a powerful organization was hidden within the ninja world. Seeing through a keyhole, Obito's deduction indicated that this organization was definitely not simple. The chaos caused by the Nine Tails alone would not be ignored by anyone. I only know about Project Tasuki no Mi, I have no other information, Uchiha Itachi said with a hint of regret. That's already impressive, Shisui patted his shoulder and said, if it were me, I might not have been able to find out anything. Besides, you unlocked the Mangekio Sharingan through a stroke of luck. It was a natural progression, Uchiha Itachi shook his head, I unlocked the Mangekio Sharingan not because of him, but because of my studies over the past half month. Shisui was slightly taken aback by his words. He didn't expect that it was really because of Li Shang. When he and Uchiha Fugaku talked about it earlier, they were still skeptical. Now that Uchiha Itachi had succeeded, it meant that the rest of the Uchiha clan had a chance. Of course, Shisui also understood that opportunity was one thing, but talent was more important. Not just any Uchiha could unlock the Mangekio Sharingan. Shisui wasn't greedy. Even without the Mangekio Sharingan, the three Tomo was already excellent. Ro, I will inform the clan head and have him promote your method with all his might. As long as it works, Li Shang glanced at Uchiha Itachi's tears of blood and said. In his view, the focus was not on whether it was effective or not, but rather that after this kind of study, the Uchiha clan would be able to change their arrogant bad habits. Studying not only brings wisdom, but also cultivates one's character. Wait, Shisui, I want you to take care of this matter, Li Shang stopped him and said, I hope you can recruit qualified members for Tendo. I will take charge, Shisui immediately understood what he meant. If the Uchiha clan had someone like Itachi, who had awakened his eyes through studying, then he would be the perfect warrior for Tendo. Itachi, can you reveal the specific effects of your Mangekio Sharingan eye technique? Li Shang was really curious. In the past half month, Uchiha Itachi had almost exhausted all the knowledge from his previous life using the shadow clone technique. What kind of eye technique could he develop after nine years of compulsory education? Although Li Shang knew that the eye technique was the Uchiha clan's biggest secret, he couldn't help but ask. I can, Uchiha Itachi nodded without hesitation. In his view, Shisui and Li Shang were the two people he trusted the most in his life, even more than his parents. The eye technique in my right eye grants me powerful regenerative abilities, it is an extremely rare Yang release eye technique. It's truly incredible, Shisui couldn't help but say, there has never been a Yang release eye technique within the clan. To what extent can your regenerative abilities reach? Li Shang wasn't surprised. In his previous life, he knew about concepts like yin-yang fusion and yin-yang transformation. As long as it's not an instant kill, I can recover, Uchiha Itachi thought for a moment and said. Impressive, Li Shang exclaimed. If Uchiha Madara had this eye technique back then, he wouldn't have suffered such a miserable defeat. The Mangekio Sharingan is a reflection of the soul. He understood why Uchiha Itachi awakened this ability. Faith or belief, 
it can bring infinite power to a person. Just like soldiers from a past life, they surpassed the limits of life on the battlefield and created various mythical achievements. Is it because they are superhuman? No, it's because they possess unparalleled faith. Under the reflection of the Mangekyo Sharingan, it becomes a terrifying regenerative ability. Uchiha Itachi may become the first Uchiha warrior immune to death. Li Shang thought about his future frail body and wondered if there could be any improvement. The ability of my left eye is to summon special clones that have the same strength as me. Uchiha Itachi continued, as long as my visual prowess is sufficient, theoretically, there is no limit to the number. Doesn't this feel like an enhanced version of the shadow clone technique? Shisui pondered and said, very powerful dojutsu. Not the same, Uchiha Itachi shook his head and said, all the special clones are located in a different space, and only I can summon them. Moreover, since they are physical entities, they can be modified, such as wearing chakra armor. Li Shang tugged at the corner of his mouth. Isn't this invincible? One Uchiha Itachi is already troublesome enough, but with thousands of Uchiha Itachi, he felt that they could easily conquer the entire ninja world. Most importantly, he felt that Uchiha Itachi awakening this dojutsu was very reasonable. Isn't it just a tactic of overwhelming numbers? This is too strong, isn't it? Shisui swallowed his saliva. He and Li Shang were just worrying about recruiting people for Tendo, and suddenly this dojutsu appeared. What else do they need others for? It just looks invincible. Uchiha Itachi knew what they were thinking and said, the special clones have no self-awareness and can only be controlled by my original body. I can control a maximum of 10, but beyond that, I would be overwhelmed and it would actually decrease my own strength. Li Shang nodded slightly. That sounds much more normal. But even so, who can defeat Ten Uchiha Itachi? Li Shang was looking forward to the moment when Uchiha Madara was resurrected and faced ten pairs of Mangekyo Sharingan, wondering how confused he would be. Can the special clones use Suzano? He had a terrifying thought. They cannot. Uchiha Itachi shook his head. What a pity. Li Shang really wanted to see Uchiha Madara's reaction. The Mangekyo Sharingan is indeed powerful, but it is not omnipotent. Shisui nudged Li Shang with his elbow and said, but when will you be able to activate the Mangekyo Sharingan? Next time, for sure. Li Shang spread his hands and said, didn't I already activate the Sharingan? It's coming soon. The reason he opened his eyes was quite bizarre. Because Uchiha Itachi learned too quickly, he often asked him questions later on. After imitating Yuan Hua's expression of, I can't do this problem. It's too difficult. In a meme, Li Shang suddenly activated the two Tomo Sharingan. Of course, the main reason was that he had accumulated enough. Uchiha Itachi, on the other hand, looked stunned. Since Li Shang graduated, he felt that the Uchiha clan was about to be ruined, everything was abnormal. Toya, what's the name of your dojutsu? Li Shang suddenly thought of something and eagerly said, I can help you come up with one. Go ahead. Uchiha Itachi already had some ideas, but since Li Shang wanted to say, he definitely wouldn't refuse. The dojutsu of your left eye is called Crimson Torrent, and the dojutsu of your right eye is called Steel Ambition. Li Shang paused and said, although they are not named after gods, I think you can consider them. I think they're good. Uchiha Itachi pondered for a moment and said, whether or not they are named after gods doesn't matter. As mortals, standing shoulder to shoulder with gods, what we do is no less than what gods do. Toya, it seems like you already have the qualifications to graduate. Li Shang couldn't help but laugh at his words. The awakening of Uchiha Itachi's Mangekyo Sharingan was undoubtedly a pleasant surprise. Although Li Shang had imagined this scene, he was still surprised that it actually worked. In his opinion, the new two dojutsu were more suitable for Uchiha Itachi than Amaterasu and Sukuyomi. Amaterasu, although hailed as the strongest offensive dojutsu, did not live up to its title in the original work. On the other hand, Sukuyomi was not bad. However, it had its limitations. It had no effect in the Mangekyo Sharingan internal conflict. With Uchiha Itachi's strength, he could handle ordinary strong opponents even without Sukuyomi. Two more days passed. The Tenbu finger ring that Li Shang had commissioned from the ninja tool shop was finally completed. After paying, he had Shisui modify the shopkeeper's memory to prevent him from leaking the information. 
There are a total of seven finger rings, although they are chakra ninja tools, they only have symbolic meaning. You can choose for yourselves. Li Shang took out all the finger rings and said, they are Hoshino, Qingjun, Wanlei, Kangming, Dawang, Weiguang, and Baluo. Shisui glanced at them and saw no difference except for the words. He thought for a moment, picked up the Wanlei finger ring, and asked, does it have any significance? In the face of extreme danger, the mind remains unmoved, the utmost of tenacity. It seems I made the right choice. Shisui smiled, he really liked this phrase. What about me? Uchiha Itachi asked hesitantly, why don't you choose one for me, Lang? The ruler of the blue and green, broad and boundless, soaring freely. Li Shang handed him the Qingjun finger ring and said, I hope you can achieve true freedom. The original Uchiha Itachi was highly controversial, but it cannot be denied that those who are detestable will also suffer. Shisui, you can keep the remaining finger rings. Li Shang put on the Baluo finger ring himself and said, after all, you recruited the members. Shisui trusted him without any doubt and nodded. At the same time, the Hyuga residents welcomed long-lost guests. So it's the two Hokage advisors. Hyuga Hiyashi spoke in a calm tone. The last time they stepped into this place, they took the life of his younger brother, Hyuga Hazashi. The only difference was that two people were missing. Hyuga clan leader, we are here for a matter that requires your help. Yudatain Kaharu spoke in a gentle tone, Hokage-sama has been acting unusually lately, and we suspect that he is being controlled by Uchiha. We hope you can use the Byakugan to observe the situation. Hayuga Hiyashi showed a surprised expression and asked, Are you sure something is wrong? Hokage-sama, how could he be controlled? Yudatain Kaharu and Midokado Homura exchanged glances, it seemed that the Hayuga clan had not betrayed. I understand your feelings, Hayuga clan leader, and we also believe in Hokage-sama. But this matter is of great importance, it's best for you to confirm it. If you believe in Hokage-sama, you shouldn't have come to me. Hayuga Hiyashi looked at them with a serious expression, Hokage-sama will never be controlled. Please leave now, the Hayuga clan will not do anything that insults Hokage-sama. Hayuga clan leader, you. You detained Kaharu couldn't help but feel angry. Escort them out, Hayuga Hiyashi said without any politeness. He may be a good person, but that doesn't mean he won't get angry. The incident with Hayuga Hazashi was still vivid in his memory. Today, he wanted to be tough. After the two Hokage advisors left in disappointment, Hayuga Hiyashi remained silent for a moment and said, go inform the Anbu. In less than 10 minutes, Li Shang received the intelligence. I didn't pay much attention to you two, but you just couldn't let it go. Li Shang shook his head. These two Hokage advisors were truly power-hungry. Even when Tsunade, Kakashi, and Naruto were Hokage, they still wanted to make their presence known and muddy the waters. But they were smart, daring to come out meant they had confidence. They were teammates of Serutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo, so it's not surprising that they have a close relationship and discovered something abnormal. Uchiha Itachi squinted his eyes and asked, Lang, how should we deal with them? Should we control them? No need to rush. They will definitely contact the major ninja clans. Otherwise, it would be impossible for them to oppose us Uchiha, replied Lang. Li Shang twirled the finger ring in his hand and said, then let's catch them all in one net. He envied the wealth of the Serutobi clan. On the other hand, the Shimura clan was doing just average. Although Danzo wasn't good at playing conspiracies, he was dedicated to Konoha, focusing on the root and not seeking benefits for his own clan. Serutobi Hiruzen was very clever. Just by looking at how he arranged for his son, Serutobi Asuma, to become a guardian ninja at the daimyo's place in the Land of Fire, and later made him the leader of the new generation Ino Shikacho, one could glean some information. His grandson, Serutobi Konohamaru, was even more remarkable, always hanging out with Naruto since childhood. Even if he couldn't become Hokage, he would definitely thrive and ensure that the Serutobi clan would not decline for at least two generations. Although we have control over Serutobi Hiruzen, it is not a long-term solution, Li Shang said with a smile. This is an opportunity, an opportunity for the Hokage to lead a rebellion. Shisui immediately understood what he meant. If they were to release Serutobi Hiruzen from their control now, 
no matter how mild-tempered he was, being treated as a puppet would surely make him furious. In addition, with the support of the two Hokage advisors, the Hokage would undoubtedly take action. No, that's not right. There's no need to release control. Then we need to become the victims, Uchiha Itachi said calmly. Shisui, you control Serutobi Hirazan and make him leave evidence of persecuting us. When everything is over, we will release it, relying on the media manipulation of the Sanjank Entertainment Company. We will stand undefeated. Li Shang raised an eyebrow. He hit the nail on the head. With the correct knowledge, Uchiha Itachi would undoubtedly be an extremely useful weapon. But what Li Shang didn't expect was that on that same night, Nara Shikaku came to visit. What a rare guest, Li Shang greeted him and asked, is this the first time the Nara clan leader has come to the Uchiha residence? It should have been visited earlier, Nara Shikaku smiled and said, I came today to inform you about the two Hokage advisors. They believe that the Hokage is being controlled and want us to help them eliminate you Uchiha. Why are you telling me this? Li Shang was somewhat surprised. He hadn't even started economic cooperation with Inoshika Cho yet, so why did they surrender in advance? Inoshika Cho can't afford to lose, Nara Shikaku spoke frankly. And he had another reason. The Hyuga clan did not participate in this matter. He suspected that Hyuga Hiyashi had made a deal with the Uchiha. Since that was the case, they dared not get involved. So, how do the two Hokage advisors plan to deal with us? Li Shang asked with a smile. Nara Shikaku was so sensible, so Li Shang naturally welcomed him. After all, he couldn't kill all the ninja clans. That's divide and conquer, Nara Shikaku explained. They want to gather the Jonin when you are alone and surround and kill you. That's indeed a good plan, Li Shang took out a scroll and said, this ninjutsu can release Sarutobi Hiruzen from control. Nara Shikaku couldn't help but be stunned. The two Hokage advisors were actually telling the truth. But what surprised him even more was Li Zhang's actions at this moment. What great confidence! With Nara Shikaku's intelligence, he almost instantly understood what Li Shang wanted to do. At this moment, he couldn't help but feel fortunate. Fortunately, they supported the Hokage and not Serutobi Hiruzen. Li Shang continued, You tell them that the day after tomorrow, Uchiha Itachi will be going out on a mission. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.